start the show. He needs. It's it's like a, there's no words on it sort of moment. Cobalt streak also here. Hello. Hello. I'm back. And I want to now that we're we're on, I would like to start off by reading a tweet that was sent to my fiance. It's okay. relevant. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> damn, I never really internalized how damn fire hot you were, probably because you're married to Cobalt Streak oh. and his constant NLS humor kind of made me assume he'd drive away all the pretty girls. Yeah, but that, seriously though, you look amazing. Wow. Here's 2010, two dimes. That's uh, yes. that's J Duck. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I met J Duck at Pax East. I saw that tweet this morning. It I was it, like, damn. You know, that's how you get into a girl's heart is by making her laugh. That's how ab- you do it. Absolutely true. <laughs> if you don't have the looks, anyway. That's how you get into a Stacy's heart. It wasn't TB. It was J Duck. It's a different situation. Um, okay, we're... so this is like in jokes. This isn't just some random person. No, well, she. It was. Yeah. It was just funny. Yeah. Okay. I was like, my gargoyle pooping isn't good enough for you. <laughs> I didn't know what way to take all of that. That seemed a little sketchy to me. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh... going to play some Isaac. We're gonna play some GeoGuessr. We're gonna play some Party Panic. And we're gonna we're gonna do yep. that. Those are the things that we are going to do. Stop it! Sounds like a plan. I I hosted. Uh, this this channel called Buzzer, which plays old game shows, because I don't know right. what it is. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, almost nobody I follow. I don't want to call anybody out, but almost nobody I follow goes live before the show. So I end up watching these game shows with chat, but now they start asking me uncomfortable questions from those game shows. Like, would you rather Kate kissed somebody else thinking of you or kissed you thinking of somebody else? Whoa. What a... That, that preys on both... Angles of insecurity. Somebody else thinking of you because it's a lose lose. Come back to you, right? You'd rather be like physically cucked than mentally cucked. I don't think yeah. that's the right word for that. I mean, I'm putting it in <laughs> I'm putting it in internet parlance, but yeah. But the reality <laughs> is, if you have a strong relationship and she kisses somebody else, this happens to a lot of people in the course of their long marriages. You know, if she comes back to you at the end of the day, that's what's actually important. Is Cuck it? is interchangeable with fuck, and I feel like a much uh, safer alternative. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> I think right. a, a minor indiscretion is not quite on the same level as cucking someone. I would rather <laughs> she kisses me, but is thinking about like <clears throat> Ugandan knuckles or something like that. I think that would be that's a strange. That would be place. an interesting fetish. It's not. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I would get off on it, but I would be like, you know what? It's a happy compromise. Why don't we play some Isaac? I, I really disagree with your chat right now. They are being real dickish. No, it's, it's no, they are. It's satire. You have to ignore internet opinion, <laughs> dick, and go against it. Counter troll them. I'm you ready. Reform them right. one at a time. What do we want? What do we want here? I don't know. What, what do you want? Isaac. Okay, there you go. Oh, gonna be getting lots of items. Items make the world go round. R K A eight. Out of nowhere. CD six R. There's almost something there. All right, not Schmizek. All right, look at secrets. I'm not gonna delete Party Panic from the docket. You know, I think that's like a once. <laughs> it's like a once every six months kind of game. Maybe they fixed it. You know, we'll see. Uh, they patched <laughs> it recently, didn't they? Well, I I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't subscribe to the newsletter, unfortunately, but oh. I'll, t- I'll take your word for it. <laughs> My Steam updater just, I don't know, keeps me going with what's getting the updates. I thought I saw it pop up there last week or something. Do you ever wonder, like, you, how often do you think it happens? And I'm not going to say that it happens every time, but we like, hey, let's play this game on the show. And then we tweet about it, and the developer is like, uh, you know, one dude or a couple of people sitting in their attic working on it, and their, you know, tweet deck goes off, and it's like, oh, a streamer's gonna play the game today. And then we play it and just, like, savagely rip it apart, <laughs> and the online doesn't work, and chat is like, this is trash, and like... Death stares. Yeah, well... <laughs> and then they I just... I think of that a lot. Yeah, yeah then they just, like... I don't know <clears throat> what you do after that point. Do you just cry, or...? <laughs> I feel bad. One time I had a sponsored game that I did, oh, no. and I got about halfway through it, 
And I was, the whole time I was like, oh guys, I don't know about this sound they chose for the footsteps. It's, you know, it's really loud and annoying. Maybe we'll play a different character. <laughs> like I was trying to be really nice about it, but they ended up, I ended up like quitting the thing halfway through because it was so bad. And they wrote like on their Steam page that, oh yes, we heard, you know, Cobalt Streak's criticism. We agree on a lot of stuff and we're working to fix it. And I just felt so guilty, but it was just my honest opinion, you know? Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, it was rough. I wonder too sometimes if having a disproportionately large audience almost counts like your opinion's worth more to some, which feels like then you get guilty if you feel like your opinion totally swayed them when it shouldn't have. Yeah, actually, that's why, like, on this show, I, I very rarely, sometimes, but very rarely do I want to, like, play a game for 10 minutes and be like, it's it's shitty and garbage. Because, like, I, you know, we're not really always giving it our due diligence and stuff like that. But, yeah, I, I def, I, that's the, the, the larger that this show gets, or at least the longer it goes on, the less I want to have serious opinions, the more I want to just, you know, ask yeah. about whether you'd be, you'd rather be mentally uh, cheated on or physically cheated on, which I think is more interesting. Wild it's Animal the Racing. For me. The more I go, I want to have serious opinions. Animal Racing was. Why, uh, animal Racing was this. a joke intentionally. <laughs> yeah, it's about as much of a joke as Retrovision is. Like, <laughs> it's it's bad. Ha <laughs> ha. Look, okay, if you're the developer of Wild Animal Racing. I get it. More power to you. No, don't... You know the, go ahead, go ahead. The best example is Soda Drinker Pro. Like, that interaction that we had was ridiculous in the form of my video. But me and the developer got along great after that. We both got... We were both playing the right side of the other side. Like, it just worked. What do you mean, though? Like... I, I called it out as being ridiculous. The developer yeah. intended it to be ridiculous. And everything lined up. And we had good interactions from them. But in the case that it's a mismatch, and they don't intend it to be ridiculous, and you find it such, you know, it's probably not going to work out as well. Is that guy doing okay? Because I, for like three years, I got an email once a week that was like, new expansion for Soda Drinker Pro. And then I can't remember if I added it to my spam filter or if they oh, just no. stopped coming one day. He's He's been working on a lot of stuff. He got involved like with some world. VR stuff and all kinds of other technology. So mm. I don't know where he's at exactly, but he like took on pseudo publishing to some degree and, you know, branched out a bit. Whatever like happened that. to Cube World? The guy just like disappeared to Mexico or something? Took his $100,000, dipped? Yeah. I don't know. Cube World is one of those... I never got involved in Cube World. I think it was one of those games like uh, like Stardew Valley is another great example of... Uh, oh, I went I, Well, I went away for like six days, and when I came back, everybody was like, Stardew Valley's 10 out of 10, and I was like, too late now. <laughs> and it turns out that was pretty stupid because yeah. it's still very, very popular. But... Um, yeah. Yeah, that, I, I kind of... Having not played it, I'm kind of mad about Cube World because it has poisoned the well for early access for a lot of other games that actually do it properly. But no, there's so been a be few it. others that have done the same deal. Yeah, but people uh, always go like, well, not always, but some people go like, after Cube World, I'll never support another indie access right. game. And I'm like, that's like saying, after Applebee's, I'm never going to eat at another restaurant. Like, you know. You, then you play Slay the Spire and you're like, I'm totally going to try yeah. early access. <laughs> All I'm going to play are early access games. Yeah. There's good and bad examples in both directions, I think. Did I call it indie Moonrift. access? Yeah, you did. But Moonrift ran off with a bunch of money also. I was not too happy with that. Subnautica did a great it. job. Yeah, so oh, that's, that's, like a, that's an early access uh, success story. Subnautica, Do you, I, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but has this actually been like the best January for video games in Earth's history? It's like, pretty nice. I was looking at it, and between Monster Hunter, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Celeste and Subnautica, there's like four games came out on the same day that have 90 or greater on Metacritic, yeah. which is it was a big week. For that's sure. just outrageous. Like, that's so good. Last year put out a lot of good games, and I remember the year before that being like terrible, though. It, there was like a lull in uh, decent games, but they've definitely picked up. So and it's just the first month, so yeah, I'm really excited for this year. It's crazy, man. They usually January. put out all their shit games in January, you know? <laughs> like how they do with the over. movies. 
it's kind of it's gonna be that the leftovers from the end of the holiday season end up in January, and that's kind of the way it's been for the last couple of years. I remember when I don't like, have yeah, a problem with that. I remember when Portal Two came out in February. I think and people were like, "Thank God, there's a good game in the first three months of the year." Now it's like it's out of control. I can't e play all the good indie games that came out last week because I'm playing too much Slay the Spire. But anyway. What ascension are you up to now? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, I am on ascension level 3 is the silent, and ascension level uh, 2 is the ironclad, so I'm like still way back. I have not even tried the silent yet. I don't... I'm trying I mean, to beat the first one. I do think like the ironclad is still easier for ascension. We're not going to have a long Slay the Spire discussion, because it's... He's so good, or so yeah, fun. The ironclad is still like... He's good, but... The, the Silent Ascension, it can be a little annoying. There's some elites that they seem like they just kill you. Unless you uh, have the right deck composition by like turn four. Armor, focus, blur, millions of blurs. Oh. Anyway. Do yeah. you feel like in general indie games have gotten better? Like, oh, absolutely. No, like there's a there's million of them There's just so now. many more of them, and but... There's a million and there's still tons of bad ones. But there's a lot yeah. of good ones. Games that... I played in 2012, where I would have been like, ah, it's kind of a cool idea. Um, it's not like a 10 out of 10, but it's it's still pretty good. They would be like 5 out of 10s now. Yeah. Oftentimes, at least. Like, in 2012, every other indie game was just a different derivative of a physics-based puzzle platformer. It They never ended. It was like, oh, this one uh, uses fluid mechanics. This one, you use sound to solve a puzzle. This one, you know, you've got a, a magnet gun that you use to move a block onto a switch instead of using your yeah. hands. And then I like, was trying to come up with the titles in my head as you were saying yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> We've come a long way. <laughs> They've gotten a lot better. I was just saying this with TB the other day, and it was like, uh, there's, there's only so many limbos you can handle in a year yeah and we're getting to the point where we're getting like multiple limbos every month i don't know if that's always the best example for everybody or is different standards but uh, many people held that to be one of the greater indie games of the year it was released uh, now we've got that kind of standard all the time well yeah i think we've talked about this before but like xbox live arcade when it came out you were like oh my god there are good indie games like there you can actually yeah. make a video game without being a company like this is crazy so I think I'm surprised how the consoles have kind of embraced them too. They're making them very accessible there as well. It's so backwards to me to see that the Switch is like the the indie console of choice right now because I'm like it's weird. Like yeah. five years ago, <laughs> Nintendo like they didn't give a shit about you. Nope. Now it's like they they finally come around. And I, good for them, honestly. I feel like they just hired for that position because I met the guy in charge of like finding the indie titles at a. Uh, some party somewhere, and he was like, yeah, if you have any good ones, just message me and we'll check it out and see what we can do. He seemed really? very gung-ho about it. You Has know? he heard of Life of Black Tiger? Is that one? <laughs> I never good. messaged him that after one, I met him. Has he heard of it up uh, on PlayStation. <laughs> the Eye of the Black Tiger and the Thrill of the Fight? <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's like a stupid in-joke, in because it's like one of the worst games ever released on a Sony platform, and they gave it a bunch of front-page coverage on, like, ah. the PlayStation main page for some reason. So uh, Jim Sterling's been trying to understand why that is the way it is. It's real weird. I wonder if there's a discoverability algorithm on PlayStation Network, and Jim Sterling gets served ads for shitty games because he looks for them. It's like, you, you you spend a lot of time on the store page for this game that our users hate. Maybe you'll like this game that users hate. The question is more, why is it even on their marketplace at all? Like, their standards are incredibly strange. Mm. I, I just got a sacred heart. How? Uh, Joker card after I skipped the devil deal on the third <sighs> floor. You didn't take, uh, you didn't Hell take... Hell no! <laughs> the, <laughs> the one that serves exploding flies to you and blows you up and ends your run? I had a multi-dimensional baby and I didn't roll it and I just left it there. Now I'm looking like some kind so. of fool because I got saddled with Abaddon. <sighs> womp womp. Oh, wow. I died in, are so in my rare. and I got this weird like tier that forms up with other tiers. And oh yeah! Oh, it's the worst, dude. <laughs> the worst. I feel like so all bad. of those, like they added so many cool tier effects in the most recent booster pack, and they all suck. 
Like there's. This seems awesome. Why is this bad? It's just annoying because so I, I don't. I want to hit things. I don't want to like wait to hit things. Like I shot Time you. Time consuming. Then there's like um. You're like, hey, I shoot brimstone lasers that are really small but really fast, and you're like, oh, it actually sucks. And then there's, it hey, I shoot, bad. I shoot like Ipecac shots that explode into brimstone shots or whatever. Uh, I forget what the item's called. Hemolacria. You shoot like Ipecac bombs that parasite when they land, and I'm like, this is also trash. <laughs> They're like, I feel like your sense of curiosity for Isaac is gone. Like you just want the most optimal thing. No, it's time. like I, I oh, get yeah. it. Like when you shoot, you're like, hey, this is cool. And like I took it six times in a row when I found it the first time. I was like, I'm gonna take this on every run and see how it works because it can't be this bad. And then it's just bad. It's just, it's just a meme item. Well, isn't part of it though? Like you pick up stuff you don't know and then you work through how bad it is, or you work with the weird effect. Yeah, picked it up six times and I went, it's yeah. bad. It's bad the whole time. Now I just I, I ignore it when it shows up. I if there was like one, I don't one, see why this is bad. If there was one situation in which I had it and I was like, "This is good." I I mean, I took cursed eye for like three years. I'm okay. With cursed eye like can be okay with certain things. How is epic hack? Multi shot bad. I actually I kind of like the item you're talking about, Nick. But hemolacria is actually oh. horrendous. It, uh, the thing that bothers me about Isaac, and uh, we don't need to talk about Isaac forever, but the thing that bothers me about uh, Isaac design is the items that you're like, well, this would be fun if they didn't deliberately make it horrible. Like, Hemolacria would be fun, but it, like, makes your tier rate four times slower than whatever it was when you picked it up. So you're like, I just can't take it. Like, it's it's a fun visual effect that actually, like, ruins the enjoyment I'm having. Because it's the, just an the, item you take one time because you don't know what it does, or a few times to try to see if it synergizes, but you can't have every item that they add, you know, be OP either, or the game wouldn't be challenging. So. That's, that's my perspective, yeah. Oh, Cobalt, how much, uh... I, I actually, I already know the answer to this question, but let's pretend I don't. How much Monster Hunter have you played? Uh, <laughs> I'd say like 20 plus hours, Hunter rank 10, just killed the the bull bull dude. Diablos. Uh, yes, Diablos. I didn't know if I was spoiling for anybody. I, um, but I didn't I realize like it. there are Monster Hunter spoilers. Like, I, I was streaming it at an incredibly low rank on Tuesday, and people were like, oh, can't watch this, there's spoilers. And I was like, I respect oh. that, but I didn't realize that. I thought it was just like what that there are monsters. There's like, there's what's monsters the in the game. <laughs> you chase them around and shit and kill them and it's great. I guess I, they don't want to see what the monsters are. Yeah, there's this like, one apparently has more story to it though. For it has than so much more story. And I want to preface this: I love Monster Hunter World. It's taken me a while to get to that point of loving it because I was really distracted by not enjoying the online story cutscene nonsense that we already talked about off camera. But anyway, um, I, I really love it now, but I just do not care about the story stuff at all. Please, no. God, st get Handler, shut up, and stop I'm trying. I'm so to, sick of her. <laughs> stop trying to do this thing where you go, hey. Everything's good. Let's go out on an expedition and just look at the mushrooms. And then it, I'm like, as soon as I get out there, there's going to be a dragon. I know there's going to be a dragon out there. When you, As soon as I get out there, someone's going to spit a fireball at you because you're going to be like looking in the wrong direction. And then, um, yep, it happens. But yet she somehow always makes it to the quest point before you. Yeah. Let's split up and see what happens. <laughs> oh, you found me at the exact perfect time. I'm going to get attacked now and kidnapped or... Whatever. Moreover. Like, stay at the base. I don't think you've seen this mission yet, Nick. And no, this is like, not. it's modest spoilers, but for mechanics, not story. There are uh, essentially like boss missions in the game where you end up going out on like vehicles uh, and, and shooting harpoons and cannons and ballista yeah. and every, monsters. Every <laughs> okay, those, yeah, I yeah. Um, they're, in my opinion, the like extreme low point of the game. Oh, I know. They're always bad, and they keep doing them for some reason. I don't know why. Like the one that I did was so lackluster and dragged on forever. Dude, if you if you just killed Diablos, you have another mission exactly like the first no. one coming up right after this. And I'm like, no. they, at first you're like, it's kind of epic, you know? You're like, oh, load the cannons, and then you shoot them at this huge monster, and he takes like yeah. a thousand damage. You're like, this is amazing. What's, For what's the first next? 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, then they're like, okay, keep loading the cannonballs over and over and over and over and over. Until and over the cannonballs are gone and you have to find another cannonball thing to grab. Yeah. Like, 
And your little pets running around too and shit, putting cannons in. I don't know, man. Anyway, so that, that game is like actually extremely great. With the exception of the story, online connectivity, which is a little annoying, even once you know how to s stop it. And then the big boss quests, I'm like, just let me hit more monsters with my sword. But everything else... They don't else, put like, enough pressure. Like, there needs to be a more of a sense of urgency in those fights. I feel Actually, like they need to do it to establish a sense of scale. Like, they feel yeah. that that's like a, a seminal part of their storytelling experience. I don't agree, but I think that's why they think they're doing it. I actually think you're right. I think they do it to be like, it's like a cool moment to be like, whoa, look at this. You have, like, you can't just take this guy down with your sword. You got to yeah. use cannons. Well, look at the intro, right? Like, they made a big deal of that being like, oh, you're on a weird volcanic mountain. Wait, it's not a mountain. <laughs> and that's supposed Space to be really station. exciting. Yeah. You know, well, it's, actually, it's, like, so you were saying, like, it doesn't feel like there's any sense of urgency, Cobalt. Kate did the this, the quest that you're about to do last night, and she fainted mm -hmm. once, and then she just stayed in the tent for, like, 20 minutes, and it almost <laughs> beat the mission for her. Like, a monster what? shows up, and they go, like, <laughs> they, they, you've got to repel this monster. And then she went, well, I'm not going to do that, because I don't really want to, like, risk fainting again, so I'm just going to hang out in the tent. And after, like, 10 minutes, they were like, okay, good job, you've repelled it. The... Thor Magdaros is almost <laughs> dead. Now hit it with all you've got. Great job. <laughs> That's her, silly. But again, like, I kind of just feel like, oh, do I still have it on games and demos? Disregard that. But you gotta just be like, you know, that's Monster Hunter, you know? You, you, you take the you take the good stuff, you take the great stuff, and you take the bad stuff. But the, the strength of that game is that you can fight the same monster 80 times and still be like, this is fun, because I feel like I'm getting better. They're oddly slavish to tradition in that particular game for some reason. They just don't want to deviate too much from the formula, which works, but also doesn't really move move forward I, much. I feel like after Dauntless, though, set up kind of like that genre and all the hype and people streaming that, because a lot of streamers have been looking for, you know, that next game. They're just mm -hmm. jumping on what's new uh, because they don't have anything else to play. So it's getting games like Dauntless and stuff a lot more attention and then you know that monster hunter is basically a better version of it yeah um i don't know i don't want to insult oh, this up. i don't want to insult dauntless because uh many reasons first off i played like four hours of dauntless and i think it's got problems but i actually like it and then secondarily oh, early they're like they're local developers so like there is that as well um i was just gonna I feel like it just pumped monster hunter up a lot more it, it hyped it up it's lit if Dauntless had come out, like, three years ago, it would be so much easier to be like, oh, this is awesome. There's no other option on PC. But literally, they're like, hey, we're making a Monster Hunter-type game, but it's on PC. And Capcom's like, oh, us too. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> I finally got in the beta, so, like, if you ever wanted to play it, I still have it. Honestly, like, I would much rather just play Monster Hunter. Right. <laughs> but, like, exactly. Though is the thing. I know, but like, we we could we could play Monster Hunter in eight months when it comes out on PC. It, I don't even know if it's like a fit for the NLSS basically at all. But we could probably fit it in once or twice without it being like weird. But yeah, I'm just it, Monster Hunter. I I like Dauntless when I played the beta, but Monster Hunter, I was like, it's just like strictly better right now, at least. If Maybe you are somebody, though, so that, many games. If you hate the traditional stuff about Monster Hunter, though, like, wouldn't Dauntless be kind of nice to streamline it a little? You're not going to love this because it's going to force oh. you to make a choice between some janky, like, 20 year old game design straight out of Japan or the free to pay, like, loot box monetization that Dauntless has going on. <laughs> so you can really. You the can, past <laughs> or the future, they're both <laughs> fucked. You, you can pick your poison at that point. That's a funny way to look at it, yeah. I'm also, like, I'm more interested, I guess, in, in like, your opinion, Cobalt, because, I don't know, is this your first Monster Hunter? Um, I tried to play one of the older ones a while ago on stream. It was suggested to me, and I was just so, I hadn't played any Dark Souls or anything at that point, and I was just so bad at it uh -oh. that the people coming in to watch it were just, like, really, yeah. really, um, judgmental, and so it kind of turned me off it. You weren't uh, just so, comparing Monster Hunter to Dark Souls, were you? Because it just wanted no, to stop but there. <laughs> I want to say that the <laughs> the <laughs> careful fighting style, you know, obviously does help out a bit. Yeah. Well, I feel like in Monster Hunter, it's a little bit even more. Um, oh, like you can you can get a combo going, and then you're just screwed if you queue up a combo too long. The monster's gonna smack you, so it'd yeah, be a little yeah. bit more conservative. I I actually like. 
this is not gonna earn me any uh, praise in chat, but there was this thing that went viral like when Monster Hunter released, uh, Monster Hunter World I should say, and it was this review from a, a fairly small channel on YouTube that was like, it's Jurassic Park meets Dark Souls, and everyone dunked on the guy and was like, we've got to stop this line of games criticism. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, you're right. It's very lazy and like, it, it's too convenient without really telling people anything, but he's not super wrong. Like mechanically, Monster Hunter and Dark Souls are somewhat similar. I think it's kind of a useful comparison point. I just felt bad for the guy that like, his, his videos probably got like 500 views normally. And then this one went viral because of a, a clickbait headline that people were taking offense to. I don't even want to compare the two. I just feel like playing one of them definitely <laughs> prepared me for the other, you know? The skills translate, so it may not be, you know, exactly the same or comparable, or you may not like how everybody compares every game to every game now, but yeah. uh, it definitely increases my skill. It was not Polygon. Maybe they did it as well, but there was like a an indie channel on YouTube I saw. It's like one of the top posts of the year in the Monster Hunter World subreddit is like, please stop, and then the screenshot is a picture of them having clicked the dislike button on the video. Maybe it's just, I'm, I'm biased because it's another YouTuber where I was like, oh man. But what it was- there's okay. anything that doesn't need to be stopped in games journalism <laughs> at this point. It all needs to be stopped, well, everything. What, what, stop I was, it what I was gonna ask is like, <laughs> if you've, if you're kind of new to the Monster Hunter series, I'm, I'm wondering, because like a lot of people are streaming this game for the first time. You know, they've like never streamed it before. I, I don't think this is a controversial opinion, but Monster Hunter is like kind of boring to watch, I think. If you love the series, I think it's different, but at least like when I watch other people play Monster Hunter, I go like, I, I get why people wouldn't want to watch this. You hit a monster with the same combo 30 times, you heal, sharpen, it runs away, and then you like rinse and repeat over and over. So I'm wondering how like, Variety streamers that normally play stuff that's a little bit more exciting are are doing because like Kate and I, I had it's this all about progression at that point the furthest progress stream You're gonna be seeing the things new for the first time So people are gonna have more interest in watching that yeah and watching two other streamers that are, are, are you know Further ahead and then going to someone else they watch and being like oh now I have to watch the beginning sequence the 20 minute You know You're fucking right, yeah. <laughs> cannon fight three times they're not going to be as interested in watching that. I will say it's different strokes for different folks. And what's really cool is seeing uh, Monster Hunter actually having like a, a huge streaming presence that I have never seen before. Uh, it's that Dauntless hype, I'm telling you. It really hyped up excitement for it. But then like, Kate and I were talking about it before the game came out where I was like, I don't know if people realize, like if you've never played Monster Hunter before, it's kind of like extremely repetitive. That's the, I love it. That's the point. <laughs> but like, I, I play just, Summoners War, so <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot. You know, of the, I'm all about it. I, I was just wondering if people who were like, I don't want to say ignorant, but the people that were not, they've never played yeah, the series yeah. before, kind of thought it was gonna be like, oh, it's like Dark Souls. Like you fight this huge dinosaur and then you go on and you fight another huge dinosaur. When in reality, you kind of like, oftentimes you fight a huge dinosaur and then you fight that huge dinosaur another eight times. Twenty more times. Yeah, exactly. So but what it, are the viewers getting out of the streams exactly? Is it more that they're just there to commiserate and watch you do the same thing they just did? Or are they looking for tips? Are they mad that you're not better? Or like, where are they landed well, on? Well, you know, it's like, I think uh, a lot of people... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. Oh. I was gonna say they probably... A lot of people like to uh, see the different varying skills. Right. Like if, if a streamer kills this boss in this, you know, amount of attempts, or if a certain boss was challenging for them, they want to see how you're going to do with it, right, right, or what right. what strategies you employ. I like, uh, I mean, I watch people play Slay the Spire, and I'm not even like looking for tips. It's just, I enjoy the game, and I'm like, hey, it's a chat room with something on in the background. So I, I, I think like if you like Monster Hunter, you'll just be like, oh, who's playing Monster Hunter? I'll go watch them fight this, and like, maybe I'll give them tips, maybe I won't, and then, uh, you know, you just, if you enjoy the game, you kind of enjoy spending time in the community, I guess. I also like to appeal to the backseaters for a game like Monster Hunter, where I feel like I'm behind the curve since I'm just joining and it being my first one. I want to get as much information as possible, so I don't just look terrible playing it. So I kind of make it like a haven oh, yeah. for backseating for just that that game, and you know, specifically. Dude, somebody... Some people like that a lot. Somebody in my chat when I was playing 
was like, hey, uh, your, your combo is okay, but if you like press triangle circle instead of triangle after this move, you can skip half of it and just get to the burst damage. Ever mm -hmm. since I started using that tip, I have become like a god. If mon what, no uh, no monster can using? stop me. I'm using the gun lance, which is also why I think the game ah. is perhaps more Dark souls -y than the average person, because all you do is hold your shield up and poke at enemies whenever there's a moment. Well, that's pretty fun. I got the switch axe, and I feel oh. like everybody and their mom picked that one. Yeah, it's like uh, that and uh, hammer. Using the twin daggers. Twin daggers. Are uh, the insect blades. glaive. A lot of people are using the insect uh, spear yeah, that, or whatever. Yeah, that was the one I saw on the Monster Hunter subreddit that was like the most popular. It was like that hammer, great sword, sword and shield. I'm probably missing something. I started I like out the with bell, the bell, but. Oh, the hunting yeah. horn? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but That's what I Kate feel like, uses. you know, it's only good for um, group, a lot of group stuff. But I love ding-donging in their face after I smack them a few times. It's got a bit too much downtime for my own preference, but I like the idea of it. I just think, like, if I was fighting a giant monster, I wouldn't want to take four seconds to ring a bell, you know? With yeah. a... <laughs> just ridiculous. It makes me giggle every time the bell starts ringing. I'm curious about the lore of why music makes you strong. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of questions you can ask about that game. Like, for example, when you're playing the bagpipe, why do you have to sharpen it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> why do I only sharpen three inches of my blade at a time? <laughs> Give me, like, a grind grinding stone to slap down and hit the pedal a few times. <laughs> anyway, that's My thumb around. hurts from playing Celeste last night. <laughs> Dude, that I game looks it. really good. It's very good, but I was jumping and dashing so much, the bottom part of my thumb feels sore. Yeah, I've blistered my fingers on games like that, like Super Meat Boy. I definitely yeah. blistered my finger before. <clears throat> it's the same kind of thing. Then this one, it's jump is one button, dash is another, and your dash is basically your double jump, so I kept sliding my thumb from one to the other, so the, the repetitive doing that eventually calloused it. How does it I compare am so strong. to like uh, like a Super Meat Boy? It's much more like End is Nigh than Meat Boy. It's like a... Uh, Metroidvania-ish? Uh, ish, but like super-ish. Okay. It, that's the stupid. So not as, not as much <laughs> Hollow Knighty. Ish, super-ish. <laughs> um, it, it's like there's big rooms with a bunch of departing branches that come off of the big rooms and loop back to the big rooms a lot. But mm. a lot of the time, you'll just kind of like make progress by accident and then get sealed off from going backward. And then you gotta like resume a checkpoint after you finish the chapter to go back to it. So I, the structure is weird, but also I guess it's fine. It just didn't appeal to me super hard. But the level design and the actual platforming challenges are great. Dare I say it, uh, another Vancouver local game. Oh yeah, I know. It, it comes up several times that it's a Canadian game. I'm just, I mean, it's not Canadian though, it's from Vancouver. It's like, don't give it those dirty Torontonians any credit. It's, it's just me and the developers are, that are responsible for that game being a masterpiece. So you're not even happy with it being Canadian anymore. No, you it, need it to uh, be why would I? Vancouver. No, <laughs> Cuphead is Canadian. We all share credit for Cuphead. Celeste is from Vancouver. That's We get that only. Okay. What did Cuphead do wrong? No, Cuphead's wonderful. It's just it wasn't made in Vancouver, so I'll, I'll lump myself in however I can. Hmm. Drinking every time I picked up an item was a bad idea. <laughs> no more. What is Bud Light Platinum? It is disgusting is what it is. But all beer is. It's a high class uh, no, no, no. metal. <laughs> We're not going to. I can't join you on that ledge, my friend. But it is a higher alcohol content of Bud Light, I guess. Yeah. Or Bud whatever i don't know i don't drink so it's like this is why i don't drink it's not like um it's not that it's better it's that it's stronger because we we I, use a different nomenclature two percent two percent i think in canada if a uh, if a beer is bad but stronger we just call it blank ice i guess you have natty ice down there as well <laughs> yeah, we so do like, have the yeah. natty ice yeah we have like yep. you know molson ice served extra cold just like the monks in Belgium intended. <laughs> Natty Ice, I, I tried one once and it tastes like someone just drizzled some alcohol and carbonated water. It's horrible. There's like a unique uh, taste.
to college, like, 75 cents a bottle beer. That is very, very difficult to replicate. I first thought... There's also thought, ice, though, which is just soda. Mm -hmm. that yeah, gets well, you yeah. So it's a pre-mixed drink or something It doesn't like really that. taste bad. It's just, like, gets you fucking drunk because you don't realize it's alcohol. I don't think I've ever had Smirnoff ice, actually. Yeah, It'll you make you really sick. One of those. I just, like, uh... That's what I had when I threw up in the floorboards that time. <laughs> oh, I bet. That stuff is so bad for, for puky later. I must have had no idea how much I was. I must have had like five of them. It's like it's like a, a Mike's Hard Lemonade, right? Well, yeah, it's um, like carbonated soda with like a fruit flavor. Yeah, it really hurts when you throw that up. More so than regular alcohol, I would say. I am finished. I had a super OP Montrose Lung Sacred Heart, Death's Touch, Proptosis. Damn. I am almost done, but I just spent the last 30 seconds attacking my own familiar by accident, so I, sl <laughs> I slowed down a little bit. I was like, this is really tiny horseman here. What's he doing? <laughs> they added him in the last patch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just mushroom shrink him. You gotta go step on him. <laughs> I've never had a Mike's Hard Lemonade either. You're not missing out. I believe that. I this haven't is like been bad to bad lemonade. I haven't been to a lot of barbecues as a 38 year old father of two, so I haven't really been the target <laughs> audience for Mike's Hard Lemonade. I think. Is the head elite from Slay the Spire modeled after you, or are people just fucking with me? <laughs> People are just fucking with you. I think, okay, uh, I didn't know if they added it as like a tribute to you or something. No, I don't. They don't need to give me a tribute. I don't even. If they're gonna give me a tribute, do it in like the Reddit way where you. Uh, Ryan's an octo dad, you know. <laughs> ejaculate on a picture of me. Um, there you go. Oh god. He's on the toilet paper. In octo I am dad. on the toilet paper in octo dad. Wow. Most most <laughs> I of you're our. Say why? <laughs> also fair, but most of our audience probably was not alive when Octodad came out, but uh, it's true. In that classic indie game, there is a like reference to 2014. me. 2014. <laughs> it's a long time. Sort of. All you four-year-olds <laughs> watching out there, get out of here. You know what's weird is like, um, we're at the point where like, I remember when Octodad came out, I was kind of like, well, Deadliest Catch. I was kind of like, finally, I've been waiting for this game forever. And we've been doing this for so long, now I'm like, where's the next one? Like we've yeah, been, I mean, we, it's we, happening. We've been at it I so mean, long that the games we waited for a long time ago are now overdue for not necessarily a sequel, but the next thing from the developers. But how long is long for you now? Because when we were talking about another Isaac, you you were saying you wanted that shit done in five weeks. Yeah, I would like it, like, maybe, I'm just, like, for no reason in particular, if they could make it come out, like, November 1st, 2018, that would be pretty sweet. But, uh... Dude, Delver finally came out today. Delver has been in development, I think, the entire time we've all been doing YouTube. Is that that first-person, uh, adventure? It's the Eldritch roguelike? Mine yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like Minecraft a little bit, but has, like, a totally different thing going on. I bought that in early access maybe four years 2012? ago. 2012? Yeah, sounds right. <laughs> so yeah, most of those games are out now. Gora Go is out, that's out. Right, yeah. uh, We're still waiting on Anne uh, and Chasm. Yeah! Uh, and Delver's Drop, the other Delver game. I think Delver's Drop might be dead. Might be canceled, yeah. And then Anne, work is being done. Weirdly enough, the last time I saw it was at Tokyo Game Show in 2016. But the developer seems to still be posting stuff on the Good. on the Kickstarter now and then. Chasm appears to just be in active development that's yeah, just taking a long time. There, there's no doubt Chasm will be released. I've been watching their blog posts. It's just I it's like an extra two years. Stopped by <laughs> exactly. their booth three years ago. Yeah. And I've been waiting forever for that game to come out. Me too. That was I, like that was my uh, summer 2015 YouTube plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's, there's some, like, I, I, I don't want to call it vaporware, because you don't know, right? Like, maybe something's happening behind the scenes, but uh, another one is, like, Scale, that game where you had, like, a... Oh, my God, Scale, I remember yeah. that. It seems like there's on and off progress on it, but uh, maybe it might be dead. Nobody's really sure. No, I like Scale. And then, um, 
I actually did. See, people in chat are talking about uh, Aider E I T R that like yeah. Dark, Dark Souls Devolver Diablo Digital Souls. game. That I played that again at the same Tokyo Game Show. I don't know if it's like uh, that's where the vaporware shows up to be like we're still alive. But no, I played that there. None right? of the none of the developers were there, but they were just like, yeah, we called an audible at the last second, last second, and we're showing this off. I was playing it, and I was like, this is really good. <laughs> I asked for a preview code. I think it was 2014 for that. I hope it's still coming because it, yeah. it had some very positives, uh, very positive associations for me. Yeah, you never know, man. Like, it takes a lot of work to make a game. It's really, I don't want to say it's easy to sell it, but it's pretty easy to get people excited. Especially four years ago, you just go, uh, ah, it's like a 2D Dark Souls, and everyone goes, sign me up. Yep. I'm ready. It might still work to this day, even. Have you ever had anybody send you an email to try to um, basically like publicize their Kickstarter for their yes. game? All the time. Using your image. And then they like try to guilt you into messaging them back like, hey, this is my eighth email. Just respond yeah. to me either We're way. Out of time. Yeah, we mortgaged our house. Like, please make our dreams come true. We need yeah. 22 more thousand in two days. Please help. I don't, I don't think they understand that. Look, dude, unless you have something for me to play, I'm not interested in, like, yeah. That wasn't always the case it. for everyone, though. A lot of people wouldn't always just go by that. Uh, there used to be a bunch of people that would just do video coverage of this is a Kickstarter yeah. that's here. That was, that really? was in the era of my life. People were really... I've done videos for Kickstarters. People were, like, really positive on Kickstarters. They're like, this is going to save the industry. You know, you sick of EA coming out with trash? Here you go. Look at this. One dude in his basement is making a better Mega Man. And then four years later, it comes out and you go, eh. Was yeah. that a dig at 20XX? No, that <laughs> well, I, it could be misconstrued. That was a dig at um, Mighty Number no. 9, specifically. Okay. So, Fair enough. That, was, that wasn't one dude in his basement. Though. No, but, you know, I was, he, okay. I, I took that some was poetic like the license. Old creator but, of X Men, wasn't it? Or uh, uh, Mega Man, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now they're like rebooting Mega Man and making like a Mega Man 9 or something. Mega Man uh, uh, 11, I think. 11. 11. Oh my god. So many. This the retro a... remake type was great. They did great with those. No, no I love the there. X series. That was my favorite. Yeah. I'm not going to say that like all Kickstarters are, are poison because that's not true. But they're not. We, the peak for Kickstarter enthusiasm was definitely like about the second day that Kickstarter existed, I think. And then after that, it's just kind of been like a slow, like, eh, we should have been smarter about it back then. We shouldn't have just bought everything, like, at face value. Like, hey, hey, kids, are you sick of the AAA developers messing with their making games you don't want to make? I'll make a game you want me to make. I need $10,000. Here's 250000 See you never. There's a lot of really reputable people in the industry doing great work, and they make Kickstarters, and I hope they all succeed. Uh, there's also people who are less on, above board, and those people you can't always tell until it's too late. I think you've got to be a bit more cautious, is all. Honestly, this... I just don't like people who email me begging for me to do something, yeah, like, and then guilting me into responding. Don't guilt people. That's not a good way. Like, to like, especially because, like, come on, dude. It, it sounds callous when they're like, you know, we might. We, we quit our jobs for this and the Kickstarter campaign yeah. might not work and you're like, well... I didn't ask you to quit Yeah, your job. like... <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't. Like, I don't know. It, there's been enough situations where, like, on good faith, I was like, hey, this game seems cool and I promote the game or it's Kickstarter and then, you know, we're here in 2018 and it didn't ever deliver. Still could, I guess, but might not. And I understand... But I also... I think more than most people... I uh, I understand that projects oftentimes fail without someone just running away with the money. Sometimes yeah, just sure. all the money gets spent, but the game didn't end up in any kind of reasonable shape to be released. And that's kind of yeah. like a, that's a fair situation that just sucks. But Kickstarter was not really built for that sort of thing, unfortunately. There's risk in any creative endeavor, and you never can exactly pinpoint every possible risk for fault. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can go and try to make a painting, and it will come out differently than you expect every time. <laughs> I, I got a great email that's kind of... It, it's not really in the same vein as what Cobalt said, but it spun me off here. Um, there's been someone emailing me, and probably emailing both of you as well, recently, who has maybe recently come into a PR job for video games, but it's not like... 
without being insulting. It's not like, hey, we got a really cool game for you to check out. It's like, this exists on Steam. Would you like to play it? Um, and they sent me an email, and they were like, hey, you want to play this game? It's called Dab on the Haters. And I said, absolutely <laughs> not. Is the, <laughs> are you, like, I don't want to insult the developer specifically, but like, in today's climate, you're going to release a game with like a Logan Paul tagline or a Jake Paul tagline as its title and then ask other YouTubers if they want to play it? I said, no. I don't know, man. I, he made it to Good Morning America, so I'm going to get grave robbing and I'll be right on Oprah soon. <laughs> That's you the know, way we live these days. There's a lot of YouTubers, though, that would be into that because it's just free clicks for them, though. I mean, I, the, more power to them. But it, it definitely did look like one of those, like, 99-cent Steam games where it's like, yeah. here's one mechanic and, uh, you know, go nuts. But it is only $2, I know, but I don't want to play it, like... Because it's a meme. You just got grouped into the wrong mailing list is all it is. You shouldn't be in that mailing well, list. Well, I'm on every mailing list that is day and age. I want to cancel You sign up for people. One Packs Media and they yeah. get you. Dude, I don't. I, I want to have like a, a a conversation with like, at GDC, I want to go there and talk to PR. And we've, you, Nick, you and I have talked about this for sure. And just be like, never send an email that's like, your city is under attack. Check out Monsters Attack today. Because, you know, I get like serious emails in my inbox. Yeah. And see, so you love waking up and being like, you know, your wife's in jail. And you're like, ah. Uh. That'd be the worst way to notify somebody of something horrible. Like, send them an email. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. I should have bailed my wife out a week ago. <laughs> Every email. It's almost is never real. Oh, yeah, exactly. But, like, still, it kind of gets you for a second. It's like, I don't know if you guys have this, but if I ever get a, um, a Skype message or even a text that says, like, hey, let me know when you get this. I want to talk to you about something. It sends me off into like a whirlpool of despair because I just have, I, I don't know about you, but yeah. I, yeah. I as soon as I get a message like that, I'm like, I can't do anything else for like the next half hour because I'm like, what's going on? And then they're like, oh, what do you, do you prefer chicken sandwiches or fish sandwiches? And I get mad. Yes, this it is seems like a, a waste really of good, time. It's a good I like tip to for, explain for yeah, anxiety-ridden people. Do please put an explanation of what the problem Hell is. Hell yeah! No, I would just be like. This is what's going on. Just get back to me when you have time. Yeah. Not get back to me, then I'll let you know. That's <laughs> just wasting time right there. You can already have a response ready by the time you reply. We went through a period. I'm not going to name names, but his name might rhyme with Bathus. Where he would, like, drop a message in uh, the Skype group that would just say, like, Ryan. And then I would say, what's up? And then... 12 hours later he'd reply and the whole time oh I'm thinking God. like what is happening is is he dead and he wanted to talk to me as like his last <laughs> act on this earth or something like that <laughs> yeah I agree anytime you if if it's serious you can drop the like we need to talk let me know when you get this if for whatever reason you want to keep it clandestine but if it's like hey you want to go get uh you know drinks on Saturday just Let's put that in the original message. <laughs> that's good. That's good enough. <laughs> anyway, yeah. are you guys done with your first runs yet? Uh, I am. I'm. I'm midway through a second, and it's it's going pretty quickly. I'm Same. good to abandon it at any point. What's game two? Geo. I'll be there in time. Yeah. In time and no sooner. I'm in no rush to get to that game. No offense. <laughs> I'm just so <laughs> bad. I'm gonna cheat. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna listen to Ryan and I'm gonna cheat. Well, like everybody else cheats in that game, so it's all good. Not necessarily the other people in this call, but the people who play along in chat. Oh, yeah. You'd be in like, the Fine. middle of the Sahara Desert, 5,000 points. Yeah, I bet, fake lion demon. I bet. <laughs> I won't Google anything, though. You guys ever play that HQ game? Oh, I don't know uh, if you have it in Canada. I, I cannot because, again, yeah, it's uh, it's not a Canadian thing, unfortunately. Oh man, you kill that game too. I feel What's like HQ? it's a it's a live trivia game, like one versus a hundred, played on the smartphone. Oh. So it has a live host, yeah. and then like two times a day, uh, they ask you, I think, ten or twelve questions, and if you get all twelve right, everybody who gets all twelve right splits. Uh, Twenty five hundo. Oh, yeah, it's, it used to be a thousand. So uh, they upped it. They've been upping it. They I also feel unscammed like... it. Uh, how so? Uh, they used to not pay you out until you had earned at least twenty bucks, and now they'll pay you out no matter what. You know the money, but did, did they yeah, people were complaining. 
Do what? Do they Venmo you? I have no idea. Lisa is like super addicted to that thing. She always tries to play and we try to Google all the answers. Yeah, that's the thing. They give you like uh, like three seconds to actually answer the question. But I was thinking like, I, I don't want to pull the veil back from, because I think it's a cool game and if you get them right, then that's amazing. But can't you just like write software that like, Googles the question immediately upon it appearing and then pops up like the answer to the question in front of your face and then you just choose that like that's they said botting is cheating but using Google or friends is not so using Google's not cheating they said using Google's not cheating what I if because their timer because so what low. else can they do really what People if I want to use what if I write a bot myself that uses Google to pop the answer up in front of me <laughs> Cause that seems I like... think that's still using a bot, so it would be cheating. But I think they mean like queuing up with like a hundred bots. Every bot guesses a that, different answer yeah, every time. That seems like. And then eventually one wins. Well, that's like fraud on a high level. Like but there's like... actual money at stake. So like, how could any of this work? I don't know how they police that. But like one dude doing it. <laughs> You're right, some like wow gold farming operation would ruin it for everybody. Exactly. They, they have like 10,000 people splitting the prize, but. <laughs> Look, okay, know. I get that it's like an integrity thing, but Chad, it, it, you know, I, I'm just gonna It's anonymous you. integrity, come on. I'm, I'm really fast at typing. So doesn't that give me an unfair advantage over? We all know how to answer the question. If you don't know it, you would just type it in Google as fast as possible and then look for the top result. But it was, oh, you can't type it over 120 words per minute? Don't even type in the whole question. You just type in key Keywords. like words yeah. from it and look for the first few things that pop up as a match for the multi, you know, you know multiple answer. Okay, that's how I did it question. anyway. You can't always Google questions immediately. Sometimes you got to do a little looking no. through stuff. The, these are not like. That's why they should make HQ, but make it for like uh, just math instead of making it something that's easily. I guess you could just type it into Wolfram Alpha and it would probably solve it. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> yeah, type equations into Google, can't you? I thought it solves. Well, some you, of them. yeah, you know, convert 100 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. I think <laughs> any real math problem that would be difficult that you wouldn't use. Like a robot to answer would take more than just a few seconds to, you know, equate out. That's why whoever won would be a god. And then you just give them a job at NASA or something. <laughs> Today we're giving away a job at NASA. <laughs> um, we're going to be launching a rocket next week and we really need to get those uh, algorithms on par. It's not about being qualified anymore. <laughs> nope. Got to win the HQ multiple <laughs> mathathon or whatever the hell apprentice nasa edition look i'm just saying <laughs> if anybody steals this idea i'm gonna sue your ass <laughs> i'm making it i don't know how in eight years i'm Wait, making it your idea for a career is to make a bot that scams no a, it's to make game? hq math oh i'm okay. not gonna do it come on I'm, <laughs> I'm not, you were saying how much you wanted to make a bot to scam the questions before it's not even available in canada i'm just saying okay. like i would okay. think I would be like, why am I even like trying to compete with all these other people who are probably using bots to, to win my share of like six dollars, honestly. Yeah, yeah the grind scared. is real. It's Ow. a good faith trivia game. I'm sure they're not cheating. Come on. Is Scott still hosting it? I remember like Scott, it seemed like he was oh, in I danger of being fired because he gave an interview somewhere and uh, his bosses, AKA the crazy owners of HQ and former founders of Vine were like, uh, if Scott talks to anybody, we might just make him quit his job. So <laughs> it'd, be a shame. Wow. it'd be a shame if something happened to him. It was kind of like the subtext. I think, I don't know. There's a dude that does it and a chick that does it. I'm oh, not they sure got two hosts are. now. I definitely have seen a chick do it before. I, I wish you wouldn't say the C yeah. word. <laughs> Why not? You don't like... What's wrong with the chick? It's, I don't know. It's a little antiquated. Like It's uh, like dude. Kind just of. like dude. We say dude is like a, a gender neutral name. Yeah, I call, I call chicks dudes. Well, I call a dude a chick. So... That might get you in there trouble. There you have it. It might get all of us in trouble. I don't know. Really? Chick-fil-A? Like, that's a on. That's way worse, though, then. That's like some... That implies <laughs> some serial killer sort of what? madness. That's a food.
food place. <laughs> yeah, but they're filleting up chicks. That's not right. Chicks, exactly. I ate there yesterday for breakfast. I didn't know Chick Fil A has delicious. Some breakfast. Dude, I had the actual best idea for like, if we ever, and probably the time for this is past, but if we ever end up in the same room as one another ever again on planet Earth, the we should has passed. Have somebody go out and just purchase like. 10 fast food meals from 10 different places and then we try we rank them in like a blind taste test and then we can yeah. finally determine how much of our preference for food places is based on uh, our own bias and perception and how much of it is based on the actual taste of it if i've eaten there before i could tell you where it's from after tasting it though you think so I, I guarantee you, I could tell you a Burger King burger any day of the week. Whoppers I, are on their own. The most distinctive level. flame broiled, really? char broiled. Patties, Absolutely. Their lettuce broiled. texture is different. It is. Hmm, I wonder where this taco is from. Well, obviously, you'd have to standardize some things. Chipotle. <laughs> they have Taco John, too. It's pretty good. Taco John? It's called Taco John in Illinois, and it's pretty banging. They have, which they sell like tater tots at, which is really weird, I think, mm. for like a taco place. Well, how do you feel about uh, tots making a surge in the North American side market over the past couple of years? I'm for it. I like tots. I am also for it. They're delicious. Could you throw a couple red herrings into the blind taste test? Like well, yeah. some things we've never even eaten before from different food places. <laughs> like a home-cooked meal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever you want. A, a stew? <laughs> I mean, just other food places we probably haven't tried. I think I guess sure. Like, yeah. I've never eaten a burger from Carl's Jr. Mm, me neither. I so. haven't really had many from In-N-Out before. Oh, there I, you go. I can sell In-N-Out, uh, I think, pretty easily. But I don't know. Like, I, I very five, rarely guys. eat fast food beef, so I would be at a, a big disadvantage, I think. I would be surprised if I couldn't tell the flavor difference between a Wendy's burger, a McDonald's burger, and a Burger King burger. Absolutely. There's a chance, but I, I would be surprised. I, I'm pretty sure I could tell. HQ is <laughs> who wants to be a millionaire meets Dark Souls. I get where you're going from, but the, the joke can even be iterated on, because it is kind of like who wants to be a millionaire meets Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. As soon as you miss a question, you're out forever. So it's like a, yep. a battle royale for quiz shows. <laughs> I want to run around an island answering trivia questions. That sounds awesome. It's kind of like. Have you guys tried that actually. SOS game yet? Yes. At all? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Mechanically, it's it's not that good, but presentationally, it's hilarious. I think it's more fun than the culling, personally. I well, okay. I don't know. I have like rose-colored glasses about like the golden age of the culling. It's certainly more fun than the culling was in its, like, extended death rattle. But, <laughs> I don't know, like, the, uh, the actual objective of the game, I think, is its weakest part by far. But the, I agree that it's a good stage for moments. I think Kate and I are playing it tonight on her stream, actually. I was also never super into the culling, even at its peak, so I think I'm biased in that way. I would like to check it out, the uh, SOS anyway. The, I don't really know what the hunt is, Hunt Showdown or whatever is about either. I haven't really watched like much Wild of it. Wild West, but you hunt sci-fi monsters together as a group? Do you oh. hunt a hundred sci-fi monsters mm. and then... Uh... No, I can't really tell. I only watched Crendor play it for like a half an hour and it broke a bit, so I'm not really sure what he was doing. He was running around a map and looking for stuff and finding clues to find other clues to find other clues. And I think at the end you fight a big monster, but maybe not. Interesting. Is it, Chat, what is it, uh, what is it like blank meets blank? Cause that's the only way I can conceive of games these days. Contextualize them, I should say. The Hunt Showdown is like blank meets- Boy meets world. It's monster like Boy hunter. meets world. <laughs> Monster Hunter plus Escape from Tarkov. How about that? Hunt is like PUBG, but with PvE before. But it's only... I okay. thought it was like two people, or is there... It's like two people on a team, and then there's like a, a more people you play against or something? He was playing it with two people. I don't know if you can play more or less. Is it two people, and then the world is all AI, or two people and you play against other teams of two? 
I only... Oh, actually, no. There were other people in the world, but I okay. don't know if they were on his side or against him. Because he said he was hunting this thing and other people were just there, and then they either died or left. SOS seems to have died off. It only has about 300 viewers total right now. It's kind of like a, it's a flash in the pan sort of game for sure. Most games are when they come, their betas come and go like that. Yeah. People that are variety are just looking for the hottest, newest thing that might bring in viewership. So they try. Oh, it's just like that line from getting over it, you know, about trash and like B games and how everything is just to be digested and regurgitated. All right, you can hold Sorry, that opinion. You're depressing, you, you can hold that opinion, but if you hold that opinion, you can't make fun of me for playing Isaac consistently for five years. <laughs> because I have, I have turned. The, I didn't, I didn't trash this game. I've recycled it. I've reduced, reused, and recycled it. Yeah. I'm curating slowly the encyclopedia of every possible interaction you can do in this game. <laughs> the replay value is through the roof, but Absolutely after seven thousand hours, I think I might have hit my head. <laughs> So, I have finished my run. I am also done with my second run. Ooh. You ready to you move know, I guess on? My, uh, yeah, I, I can stop at any point. Let's do it. My greater point was just that there's so much time and effort put into a game that it then becomes popular by, like, a handful of people for a week. Yeah. And then everyone's moved on, and it's just like, wow, that's weird. Yeah, that's why I'm like, <laughs> I don't actually think that streamers do a... <laughs> I mean, this is, like, extremely self-hating. But whenever developers are like, you gotta get the streamers on your side. You got the you got the data, and I don't. But I'm like, I just want to play video games and crack jokes. I don't want to be. True. I, I don't want to be my data in like ten years. <laughs> I don't want <laughs> to be responsible for the success or failure of your game. I just want to use it as an engine to make fun of and then move on. How's it going? How's it going, Robert? Good. Hello. How's it going, Kobe? I'm one and a half platinums in, so Ooh. I'm okay. That's nice. that's that's nine percent. He's working for Platinum God. Uh, <laughs> uh, Makes me loosey goosey. How's the how's the fatherhood life, Cobalt? Man, it's good, <laughs> but my baby be Man. crying. Yeah, yeah. But it, you know, it's he's great. I love him. He's the cutest baby ever. We took him out to eat today. And like all the waitresses were stopping by and like, oh, your baby's so cute. I'm like, get away from him. It's mine. <laughs> what did uh, what did he want? Don't make eye contact. <laughs> when does a baby get to eat? Real Every food? three hours. Oh, um <laughs> Yeah, like real I don't food. know, a couple more months and we'll be like grinding him up carrots and shit. So right so, now he's still just like I mean, he's drinking milk, right? Bottles, yeah. th uh, three to five liquid ounces of formula at the moment since he was throwing up any milk-based products, mm. like, consistently, so. Mm. But, um, should be on some baby food soon the next couple of months. I think Lisa wants to, like, make it herself. Whoa, or at least she sick. thinks she does uh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe after she has to, like, grind that shit up a few times a week, she'll... End up just buying whatever, but dude, baby oh, food is cool. delicious. I doubt like it. that little. I haven't oh, tried for it for real. Like, like get some of that Gerber's like uh, jarred shit. Gerber's I feel really like nice. the peach would be good. Oh yeah, it's it's delicious. Yeah, like the fruit ones, but then there's some that are like, I don't know. I sniff them and I'm like, I don't know, man. I mean, Questionable. Like the, the I would rather eat ones, maybe ba not. I would rather oh, eat yeah. baby food than cat food. Yes, 100%. at least it's like meant for my species, but. I've smelled the peach ones before, and I'm like, how does this end up smelling so bad? It's just peaches. I know, I yeah, like, okay. What did you add to it? <laughs> Maybe it's like a durian, though. When you eat it, it's really good, Maybe. and it just smells like shit. Smelling Not is part of tasting, though, so it kind of matters to me. Everyone that's yeah. robbing me right now has never had, has never taken a spoonful of baby food, man. Admittedly, I have. that, like... Yeah, never like get, it. get some of that like apple and banana shit. I mean, it's basically you're you're basically like having applesauce. And if you like applesauce, then you'll like that. Yeah, you know, it's delicious. I have sent you a seed. Oh, this is so minor to complain about, but you know what my favorite uh, thing that they added in the most recent Isaac booster pack is is uh, how every time you close it, it goes Isaac ng.exe has stopped working. A problem that has caused the program to stop working correctly. <laughs> 
I have so many games that crash when you quit them. I'm so tired of that. It's like I tried to close it, and it's like, you can't fire me, I quit. <laughs> Super Meat Boy has done that for five years. <laughs> yeah. And it crashes once before it opens as well, so you get it coming and going. I suppose if it's crashing when you close it, it's like... That's the, the best scenario. Yeah, yeah like, I know. I can't be that can bad. It's just yeah. like, ugh, it's this little thing that irks me. What yeah. they should really do is just uh, wrap the entire game in a try block and then uh, catch any exception and close gracefully. <laughs> Yeah, man. I feel you. I gave you but it's one. like it's okay for you to know things about programming. You don't have to use that voice. <laughs> it's not okay. It's fine. Well, I'm incrementally improving my knowledge and sharing it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. When are you gonna make my game for me? N absolutely never. <laughs> Which one? You've had like a hundred ideas. I know. I have a lot of ideas. Every idea you come up with is so far beyond the skill set of any human individual on Earth to make by themselves. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's uh, what not about a game where uh, you? It's massively multiplayer, and you all co create your own mechs out of individual mech parts that all have unique properties. And blah, 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 blah. I gave Rob I a know, mech part I creator. Know the really, I'll I know buy the really it. ambitious ones before, like. Aside from it, like I think Square Pigs is totally possible. Yeah, Square Pigs though, I don't want to make because it's just like don't take us the wrong way. But Square it's too good. Square, square Pigs is what you make when you're like, I want to prove that I can make Square Pigs. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I don't know if it's got any long term success on it. You got to do like a Steven Sausage Roll kind of idea. Oh, but then no, you, you have to be like a genius to make Steven Sausage Roll because you got to design puzzles, which is way harder than just like. You know, That's the fun part. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know how to do that. I, I know how to make a, a number increment on your screen. I though. love designing puzzles. Tell me, how hard is it to make... All right, so here's here's how this game works, right? You know in The Witcher 3 how, like, uh, you Already show up... Already gone. Jesus no, 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 no. <laughs> don't make The Witcher 3. But you know in The Witcher 3 how you show up to a crime scene, and then you, like, look at the clues, and you find out what kind of monster did it, and then you prepare and go fight that monster? Yeah. Basically a game that that is the only loop. L.A. Noir. Except not in 3D. Oh. Like 2D isometric. A point. Oh. Still like. Are we know. clicking? <laughs> you, oh, no, we, we can begin if, if you yeah, guys are. Okay. Wait, I'm wait, just wait. wondering if you guys. I want to make sure I'm not. Because uh, I think that game would be fun. In my opinion. Let me let me run something by you. What about The Witcher 3 uh, Star plus Star Citizen? I have started. Yeah. I'm I'm in. Dude. Witcher in space? That, yeah. That would take like what, like a like a month or two? I was thinking maybe. like Jonathan Blow working for three months. Mm-hmm. But he's really good, so he might be able to get it done in a Ludum Dare. What does that tell you about the witness if Jonathan Blow is really good and it still took him like <laughs> six years? Uh <laughs> well he slowed himself down by working with other people, is the thing. Right. You know, True, it's like doing a group yeah. project in school where you're like, oh, I could just do this faster by myself. That's the I problem, see. is he he was like, Maybe I can do this faster with other people. Nope. <laughs> Still Amish furniture Ooh, opens okay. seven days a week. That tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> yeah, we're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> but uh, the uh, the my, my funniest image of Jonathan Blow for forever. I will always remember this as the image for Jonathan Blow is uh, when in indie game the movie. I don't know if they did it on purpose, but. They set up a beautiful joke where Jonathan Blow's like, well, you know, a lot of people uh, like to say I'm I'm pretentious, and I don't really get that. I'm just very passionate about my games. And they cut to him coding on a standing desk. Hey, and what's I your problem with standing <laughs> just because you don't want to die of cardiovascular <laughs> failure in your 30s? It's just, it's just so funny, man. Like, like, you know, props to him for using a standing desk, but it's just so funny. But he's also a pretentious asshole is what you're saying. <laughs> I actually, when we end up moving, I kind of want to get a standing desk. You should. You should get a yeah. conversion one that that goes that makes mo way more sense. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, I think if I don't get a standing desk, and we can laugh about it now, but it's possible that in like fifteen years yeah. we'll look back on this Probably video and be like, be dead. he knew it was happening. Like I'm gonna die of a my heart stopping while I'm playing Isaac, or like a blood clot's gonna pass through to my brain or yeah. something, and right, then yeah. yeah. But then in chats like. <laughs> Don't be pretentious. Just just up your risk of dying instead. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, like, I I, uh, the, I think the convert... I, I actually saw a streamer who had, like, a converting standing desk, and, like, he had half the stream standing and half the stream... Uh... I refuse to stand while I'm being <laughs> lazy. I Honestly, like, I agree. 
<laughs> Although my sitting situation is fucking awful. Should I'm so up. weak, though. We should stand up more. Yeah, man. Dude, yeah. I walk the grocery store at least a couple of times a week. <laughs> I walk up. That's pretty uh, good. I, like, I, I can't joke about it. It's too serious. <laughs> in uh, in our subway stations, I always walk up. It's not stairs, though. It's an escalator. But still, I get to the top and my chest doesn't hurt. So I'm not quite, <laughs> I think, at risk of imminent death. But it's definitely getting, it's getting worse. Yeah. Where are these dang highways at? I'm doing I'm doing okay on this one. I'm I'm narrowing it down. I got a state, I got a, a road, I'm just working on the exact town. You got the state, huh? I do not have the state. Why how do the road do. numbers go from like sixty to one sixty? Oh, right, you're telling me, place. man. You're telling me. Ridiculous. I could make these numbers way better. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Standing up just increases uh, your chances of getting struck by lightning. <laughs> which, which only 10%. Right, right yeah. Where's a, how often do you die from a heart attack? Probably. Like, I feel like that would just supercharge my day, honestly. You'd do great with that, I think. Stuff. I wouldn't even go to the hospital. I would just be like the Flash or something. You get badass, like, tattoos of the shape of your veins under your arm? Dude, Hell yeah. Do you think, like, this is a Rob question, really. Okay, I'm ready. Do you think if you got struck by lightning, once you got over the incredible adrenaline rush of being hit by a bolt of electricity from God, you would be like, <laughs> what smells so good? <laughs> it's possible, I guess. All right. I, got three I don't seven, know. Three. What, Ooh, wow. what part's getting cooked? That's Aren't there, like, <clears throat> weird survivor stories of uh, of people after... Like Tell being me when in a burning on. house and then being like, you know, it really smelled really good, and I've had I've had trouble like reconciling that. I believe it. Do you think you can get addicted to getting struck by lightning? I hope so. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to move on, but I don't want to. Okay. I'm I already. Uh, okay. Have yeah, you guessed Cobalt? Uh, I did three thousand. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I got like eh. three thousand. I, I didn't get the state right. I saw a sign right, that said, to win it. thank you, Michiganders. And I said, uh, all right. I saw so Saginaw. That's what they call them. Michiganders. 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 Yeah, I saw a sign for Saginaw. I knew that was Michigan, so then I, I looked for the uh, word. Mm, a fellow intellectual. <laughs> Carl Saginaw. There you go. Oh, I see some flags. Come here. Am I? I feel like I'm actually on this trip right now. I like this question in chat. What if you lie down and uh -huh. uh, you get struck by lightning Wait on the tip death. of your dick when you have a boner? I think you would lose the boner. You think it would just explode? Dick. Like What if yeah. it did explode? That it would <laughs> boil your dick blood. Your, it would boil your dick blood and split like a cannon. I think that, that would be so horrifying. Awesome. That's what I picture. You yeah, know, that'd the be like the worst thing. The cannon gets stopped up, so all the pressure releases from like five sides, and it splits open. Yeah, it's How like when how can we um, accurately <laughs> test this? In a in a in a cartoon when somebody shoots a gun and somebody else puts their finger in the yeah, exactly. the barrel and it just explodes in their face. Did, did you guys? It, there's a lot of paths to take here. This, did you see the world's worst Pizza Hut? No. It's like a Pizza Hut that's actually just a a garage. <laughs> I'm so lost. <laughs> That's pretty good. I would never want to live here. Oh, yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> it's so flat. It doesn't look that bad. There's this no looks... hope in sight. Maybe there my, a, maybe there my was brain's sign... just fucked, but like... Oh, there's a puppy! <laughs> well, I, look at these, I look at these places and I go, man, I bet a sandwich is like 250 yeah, except you also, I mean, unless you keep your current job, you also get paid like 250 That's the dream, dude. <laughs> one but, hour uh, for one sandwich. The uh, the other thing is I did see a sign here that said business district, and it, oh, no. it, 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 it led down a dirt road into the woods. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. you know, so, like I, I feel like this is not a place for me. Maybe. Is this the town where Austin would be going like, oh, oh, I lived here? Yeah. Mm, maybe. I've only seen two street signs the whole time. What is this sign? Oh, it, there's this, a sign. It's it has a number on it. This flag. What? 
I, I'm ready to guess her. I, I'm oh. going to get 5,000 points on it. I love it. Don't, 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 don't take this the wrong way. way. Like, uh -huh. if you live in this area. But there was yeah. like, a restaurant that's very clearly one of a kind. And then on the uh, on the sign, it said locally owned. And you're like, oh, no kidding. <laughs> Are you telling me? Uh, you telling me this isn't a chain, huh? I don't want a repeat of Amarillo, dude. We're, I have no freaking idea. We're in one of the states that wants to be Texas but isn't. Oh, Oklahoma's. Who wants to be Texas? I don't know. I'm guessing here. Forty nine ninety seven points. Give me the five. Stars. Oh my God! It was. I'm it's sorry. Right. Spoilers. No, it's good. Thank you. I still have 40 seconds, so. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I just guessed that. And But I didn't guess that. I, like, I jokingly guessed it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm this next one. On that one. Weird. Oh, it's a Freemason's office. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone on yet. Shattuck Public Library. Sino. Sino? Hello. Hello. Is that Sinnoh showing up? I don't know. Do you ever wonder if part of your audience doesn't know what the hell we're doing and we should, like, explain what this game even Geog is? Ah, you know, travel around the you world. get it? Yeah. I feel like it's it, it's probably pretty easy to understand once we put a pin on a map. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Okay. Wh I guess Missouri. This? It wasn't Missouri, but that's okay. Missouri. You know what? Uh, so so I, I, I talk about how I dislike when people say Jaguars. Yes. Uh, Kentucky, I mm. got an issue. Okay. Louisville. Yeah. What's the deal L with that? Louisville. L Louisville. L why? Louisville. Well, <laughs> like why? Why, yeah. why not? Why not just Louisville? So you. Oh, well, it should be really like. Town. It should be Louisville. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, also, like, people commonly say L Louis as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, people commonly say Louisville as well in Kentucky. Well. Yeah, right. I'm just trying to that, figure out, like, where... I mean, if we're going to take this absurd well, premise well, the I'm entire gonna, way and not just halfway, I'm, then... Uh, but nobody says Lua when they're going to say, <laughs> Hey, hey, Lua, you want to come over to my house uh, this weekend, watch the big game? You know? That's what I'm saying. Like, people say Ville and people say Louis well, or Louis. Well, 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 I don't know. You, you do understand why it happens, right? It's the cultural appropriation over years and years of saying it breaks down the syllables. Eventually, people start slurring it, and it becomes a new word. Yeah. And then they own it, and it becomes popular because the people around like saying it. And like, then, you know, it's a sign of your, your dedication to the area. Like, See, all. I feel you on that. But then also, what happened with Jaguar? Because, like, I mean, we, say, we say gyro in New York, right? So, like, mm. we don't really... Very true, ever. yeah. But that's just yeah. correct, and everyone else is wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm in happens. the woods. Yes, you are in the woods. I think we have been to this exact place before in another video guess around. <laughs> it's highly possible. How much time do you guys have left so I'll know when to move Two, on? Two and a half minutes. Yes. Okay. I'll cut my time short by a minute then. Into pieces. Cut my time into... Yeah, all right. Um, oh, how many people okay. are from Louisville in, uh, oh, in I, I'm going to guess 195,000. <laughs> right now in chat? Mm -hmm. Not in chat, but in, in reality. That might be, might be low. You think it's a little low? It might be. Look I don't know. These little mailboxes. Why are there six of them? They have no internet? That's offensive. There's a burgeoning <laughs> tech community in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm sorry, you mean uh, Louisville? I'll say it however I want. I'm not going there. I like the word <laughs> burgeoning. I How went to Kentucky once. There were hookers outside of wow. Walmart. <laughs> Didn't it and they were underage. And what? I was very uncomfortable. Oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> they were... It was... Well, it was weird. It was Even not mind, a fun place. The age of consent is different in different states. Yeah, but I don't think that extends to... <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying, I don't like saying it, but... I th yeah. yeah. Uh, How can I spin underage prostitutes into a good thing? <laughs> well, the age of consent is different in different states. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, did you ask for their ID? I didn't talk to them, I just walked past them and I was like, oh, okay. There was, so there, like... 
I was underage at the time as well. I was probably like 16. Well, you were not, you're not underage if you're not a prostitute. You're just 16 in that case. You weren't doing anything wrong. There you go. <laughs> I wasn't doing <laughs> shit. Unless I it was just like, looked at them and was like, that's wrong. If it was an adults-only Walmart or something. Is this? Are we in Star Wars in this next one? Triple X Walmart. You be all so your happy. needs. <laughs> the um. So um, I'm gonna guess th there was a funny moment like when I when I went away to college Easier. in upstate New York. Garth Brooks. I was very homesick for New York City and like city life and mm. like city experiences because everyone up there was just. Like happy and and like pleasant all the time and positive. Yeah, and it was very frustrating. I didn't like it at all. So uh, I, I was really homesick. And the first time that I that I that I came back to New York, like on uh, on a holiday, um, the first thing that I see getting off the bus at like you on know, the next one. three a.m. Yeah, I'm on the next one. They are like, fencing their cows. No fences, <laughs> Garth Brooks. The first thing that I see is a pimp with two prostitutes just walking down the street. And I mean, a pimp, like a straight nice. up a pimp, like in, in a full pimp outfit. Like, yeah. And, and <laughs> that was a like, feather or? Old feather hat and then the yeah. like, full <laughs> white suit with the big silly boots. I mean, it was just like. I love pimps. They're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, Everybody like loves cartoon pimps. characters. <laughs> oh. yeah. So I was just like, I'm home. This is this is back. This is this is this is what it's this is what it's like, and it felt good. Dude, this one is like really weird. It's gonna sound yeah. like I'm coming from a place of privilege here. Maybe I am, but there's nothing but nature. But you drive got for a couple like signs. you drive for like ten kilometers, and then there'll just be someone walking on the side of the road, and you're like, I don't know where you came from, or where you're going, because I have not seen anything that could be described as an origin or a destination. So how yeah. did you end up like in media res just in the middle of this road? They were walking to school. Their job. Yeah. Where Got are they gonna to. work on the roads? There's a lot of roads. You can see those everywhere. They're actually like, the roads look like they're in pretty good shape. Which makes yeah. a lot of sense because I've I've literally seen no other vehicles except bicycles and wheelbarrows. So <laughs> not to destroy them. <laughs> it's not a lot of wear and tear, I guess, but. They didn't even go down that road, it was so scary. I gotta turn around. Seems like there's actually a lot of gum on the road, which would make sense if people regularly walk it, I suppose. You guys were talking about how nice the roads were, and it turned into a dirt road, and they didn't even drive oh, down there. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. you might have gone in a different direction. Mm -hmm. I think that's gum. <laughs> I don't know. Little spots, it's like... Oh, no. You know what? This looks like shit. Like I think it might shit. be cow shit. Yeah, because yeah. there were there were some cows on the side of the road. As well. And no fence. Splash. There's no fences. Exactly. True, so cows yeah. could easily shit on this road. I don't. Know. There's no fence to stop. This is them. not gum. This is cow shit. And lots of it. I'm just gonna stick a dot on there in case I forget to guess. It's like thatched huts and shit. <laughs> What? It just feels like like the Google car is like a a driving anachronism in a place like this. What like... this? They, dude, they need to put a fence up because the Google car, the cows parted so the Google car could go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they know what's up. The cows have seen cars before. And then after it, we passed, they closed in again. Yep. That's amazing. Good cows. Lynn, I don't think this is Ireland just because it's cow shit on the road. <laughs> I've still never seen Ireland in this game once. An incredibly, well, not important sign, but a sign nonetheless. Yeah, right. I'm kind of tired 26. of this place. This country's too big. Yeah. It's enormous. There's just oh. nothing to look at. There's no signs. There's nothing to give me a hint. I'm guessing Ecuador. Screw it. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> 2500 maybe peru uh, i don't know as well oh my god well, i was right it was i was right it was south africa i was off by a bit there. Yeah. damn it i was in the congo a second ago i was way closer pretty much like if it looks like africa it's gonna be south africa for yeah for geo i tried it, to cheat off chad and they were so oh. wrong 
two things. If it looks like Africa, it's probably South Africa. Secondarily, if it has Scandinavian names on the signs, it's definitely South Africa. Please. <laughs> 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 well, I was watching that, that game show channel on Twitch again today, and yeah. they had an ad. It was for, um... Oh, it was a candy bar, but it was like... Crunchy or something like that. And here's the slogan. Yeah. Crunchy. It's thickerer. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually hilarious. The Dutch Chat also Canadian. loved My it. Bad. Oh, hell yeah. There's a guy who I assume lives in a state where they say Jaguar. And his brother uh -huh. said Jaguar. What, like uh -huh. in, in human history or? <laughs> well, I mean, no. It's in chat? Yeah, in my chat, yeah. How did you know how he pronounced it? Because he, he relayed the story to me. I don't understand. Wait, are we doing the party game for the third segment, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one where you the cars, like, jump over the, the pole that comes or whatever that we played that one time? Is that Gang Beast? Himia? I think you might be thinking of Gang Beast. No. Uh, it's like you're... On a spiral and like a pole comes at you. Oh you have to yeah, jump yeah, over it. yeah. They ripped off um, Fusion Frenzy for that game. Okay. And it doesn't work, but so I don't remember that one. I have a bit of a question. How did? Uh, wh why is Party Panic on the docket? Uh, desperation. That was the exact right. word I was gonna use. Desperation. Yeah, we are five minutes like over time, just trying to mm. figure something out. All right. This is interesting. Kolonki. I did not expect to ever play that game Kodon. again, to be totally honest. Kodon. It's so bad. <laughs> it's, it's really, like, it's really it's good. Okay. It's 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 a, like, it's a good video game. <laughs> I'm not gonna no, I I'm just not gonna play Armello anymore with people who have never played Armello. And it's not an insult to them at all. I just can't do a fifth hour of Armello tutorial stream. <laughs> it's just not it's not engaging. Plus, yeah. we can't do Armello without Austin, because he's, like, the defending champion. He's never lost a game. Yeah, I thought I'm, that was, I'm, like, every game he's ever played. <laughs> Basically. Although, like, the second win was... I'm still salty about that. I'm, I'm still so pissed about that. Oh, this is a really cool house. It's got, like, a blue, like, Elvis gate or something. What's an like, Elvis gate? It's got a lot, it's like all music. It reminds me of music and passion. It's like a Stargate oh. that Elvis has come out of. Yeah, it's a pretty classic uh, GeoGuessr. Just uh, look around for four minutes and then choose Moscow anyway. And uh... Yep. Yeah, but I haven't guessed yet. I mean, I'm ready to make a guess if we're making guesses. Well, it's, I'm not going to guess. I'll be real with you, Nick. You should look, because it's not Moscow. But it's... Uh-oh. Uh it's in the vicinity oh, of yeah. Moscow. Oh, okay. Damn just... it, this country's so big! Find all yeah. of the signs I can with Cyrillic on them and try and read them in the hopes that it'll sound like a city. It's the biggest. That is so bad. 10,000 points, no. Loading this is a very fast. enormous country. I get a lot How'd they get so much land? Uh, Rob, how did like they get manifest. so much land? <laughs> <laughs> like a, a form of manifest destiny. What is what is what is it called for Russia? Oh yeah, got your shit. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> is it possible that nobody else wanted it? It is uh, really cold. Sort of. Yeah. No one wants that land. Thanks, chat. <laughs> it's like more or less true. In um. A sense. I got 19,000 and something. 19,3. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta find myself then. Yeah. I got 19,382. Oh, I got 19,702. Oh! Uh, Close gosh, games. Dang. Close games. God damn it. Yeah, I'm nipping at your heels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, basically imperialism. I mean, the strength of Russia has always been that Moscow region. Uh, and actually, it's that to be. they get a plus one science beaker on tiles <laughs> adjacent to their capital. Very true, yeah. They also have very good cold resistance. Mm, also true, yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta wear Fuzzy the hats. you gotta wear the Lagambi set if you want to hunt a monster in Russia. Mm -hmm. 
There is your seed. Oh, thanks. I love seeds. Do they have, like, a cold region in Monster Hunter? Yes. Cool. Oh. Yep. I don't really know, like, how the maps work exactly, because like, I thought at first it was just one big map, but then I kind of learned that there's other maps, but I don't know when you go to them or how. There are... There's a few. Tell me when to start. You yeah, may right. begin at the present moment. All right. Boom. Is it spoilers to ask why or how do you go to the other maps? It might be spoilers. I mean, it's not spoilers. There's just no you way just for progress. me to make it engaging. Can you really <laughs> spoil Monster Hunter? You, we, we already had that discussion, but... You, uh, <laughs> the way you get to other maps in Monster Hunter is uh, you beat a quest, and then they go, hey, we're going to go to this map now. And you go, all right. Uh, I'm going to go find right. the castle. <laughs> Whoa, I know exactly where we are. Yeah, I mean, there's a truck that literally says it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I also know now exactly in the... The, oh, the handy corner... Next to the public <laughs> toilets. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have Tesco products in our local grocery store now, so I'm basically British. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys worship the Queen, right? You, you pray to her. I'm not going to go day, down so. this road again out of respect for my audience. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the entire royal family came from Germany. I what makes you say that? A uh, documentary on Netflix. Oh, well then, yeah, I mean, it's probably <laughs> traceable. I would, I would imagine that that might be true. Well, you know, like, uh, in the First World War, it was basically, like, big sibling rivalry. Like, yeah. um, King George was the cousin of, like, uh, Kaiser Wilhelm II, and then their, like, second cousin twice removed was uh, Tsar Nicholas II in Russia. It was all just, like, a bunch of dick measuring. Luckily, only, like, eight or nine million people died as a result, so it's pretty, right, like, yeah. it was worth it for... Also, well, yes, for King George. You're right. Uh, Viva la George? No, don't go to intros. Go to classical music. Hmm... Man, I am so lost on these little paths. Oh, there's a Calgary in this country. It's like a catering truck or something over here. Interesting, I didn't know that. It's Canada. Cobalt yeah. is 100% correct. Dude, I like being correct. I found a name of a town and it just it doesn't exist. Uh, I found the name of a town and it definitely exists. You found the town? Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. I'm real mad. Uh, I mean, I didn't I find found some old people. I didn't find Was this town? town, but I found like there's a there's an enormous town uh, near really. it. Dude, my time is ticking. Coco Snoot. Aww. <laughs> is that like kind of cute? Chocolate Art. in your vagina? No, it's where I you thought go that's for, when you snort it. <laughs> you go for Arden Design. Oh, yeah. Found it. Okay. Where's that dang country at? Fud shop. Hmm. This place looks nice. It looks, uh... It looks lovely. I want right. to get, like, a street view and then walk around here. I don't even Whoa! know if this is in the map. Daily roast for five ninety nine with vegetables, potatoes, Yorkshire pudding, and homemade gravy? That mm. sounds fucking awesome. Five ninety nine, GBP, though. True. But that's still, like, seven bucks. <laughs> like eight. maybe now, yeah. Ever since uh, Brexit, I don't know where to. Up, oh, up, oh, found it. Guess. Okay, forty-seven seventy-two. Not bad. Munchie's restaurant. I can't Ooh. find the exact spot we are. Like I have the town, but I can't find the stores. I really like this. Inspiring ideas in store today, and every day. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, hey, see you later, this I town. I liked you. I guess. I do not. I Loch Lomond. You guys oh, know that classic uh, Scottish song, Loch Lomond? 49.29 on that. You eh, take the thigh meat, and I'll take the breast meat, and we'll meet together at Manchies. It's a no real song. No more of these places. I don't want any more of these. You're making me want some cheese curds for some Dude, reason. Dude, finally, a man of culture on this show. <laughs> delicious. I had, uh, I had poutine for the first time when Jess was here. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. But was it the best poutine in New York? 
Um, it's on those lists for it, yeah. Oh! I'm pretty sure none of us on the show don't like poutine. Mm. I don't see how a person could dislike it. I have never it. met someone who didn't like it. It's just like, it's, it's fried potatoes and gravy and fucking cheese. Delicious cheesy cheese. Yeah, like... Finally what, coming I'm, around. The best cheese curds I ever had were actually in Wisconsin. I believe that, and I respect that. We would drive from, uh, like, our Chicago area, Illinois, across the state border just to get at their cheese when we lived there. It was that good. I like to get at their cheese. <laughs> get at their cheese. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get at it. Well, they're the cheese heads out there. They wear the cheese helmets at Packers games. You can't hurt me. Not with my cheese helmets. You guys see Freddy got fingered? Yeah. yeah great. That That's... Great. That is... That's what Probably he does. Just... He. Uh... I I actually unironically like that movie. Uh, yeah, he can wears you explain a the part where he plays the piano with the sausage. What's that all about? Well, Daddy, would you like some sausage? It's uh, a meditation on Dadaist comedy and uh, where a, a young man fits into a modern society that is a rebuke to him at every turn, and not just Tom Green being a, a silly nut job. <laughs> might be right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is he known for doing high-minded art? Uh, no. no. Tom Green? <laughs> not, he, not at all. Yeah, I really like, there's a really cerebral did, uh, bit he did where he went to Japan, and then an old man fell down the stairs at a temple, and he just laughed in his face with the camera pointed at him for like a minute bit. and a half. You did that bit in Korea. Uh, no, that's not Dakota. true. I was recording a video, and a man outside of my door fell down the stairs. It sounded like he was carrying a box of glass. I didn't go out there and go, ha, 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 for like a yeah, minute and a half. Really nice. That's too far. What, what happened when Tom Green went to a forest in Japan? I get it. It's a Logan Paul yeah. joke. Logan Paul joke, yeah. He got on Good Morning America. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone Wait, loves did, a redemption get, story. Did he get on that post? Like that yes. video? You, Are you literally like kidding me? Yesterday? Why does the media like this guy? I don't understand. Because he's controversial. Desperate. The media is desperate for anything. I guess, but like, I don't know, man. They're like these yeah, YouTubers. Let's make, make shit lords more money. popular. It just seems weird because it's been years of YouTube popularity, and they never gave a shit. But it's all of a sudden, Logan Paul shows up. They've, and... they've always sat in quiet condemnation, and whenever there's a moment <laughs> they can strike, they will snatch up. That money. I, don't know. I need to go like flash <laughs> my YouTube across like <laughs> naked or something. I don't know. I don't know what I can do. I definitely don't want to go looking for dead bodies. That's for sure. Yeah. But yeah. I will flash my genitals for attention. I'm kind of like I'm. I'm all right. <laughs> You're good. I like good. I don't want attention. Yeah. Like, that's the, like, I like it when people watch my stuff and are like, hey, great video. What I don't like is when, like, uh, I got an, an interview request from, like, an app-focused website during Champions of Fire. And they were like, hey, do you want to give us, like, an interview about Champions of Fire? And I was like, nah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing it. And it's going to be fun. But, you know, I don't necessarily, yeah. I don't want to do an interview about, like, what it means for the industry. To, you to want to go on Good Morning America? Yeah. I had no idea where we were, and I was like, is this somewhere in the UK? And then I was like, <laughs> no, this is, like, Saskatchewan or something. And it was actually Alberta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I found Cold Lake, <laughs> so that was pretty nice. I was never going to find where that was. Canada is as desolate as Russia. Parts of it, yeah. Yeah. I got but, like, the middle looks the like it's lake. made of spun gold, which is kind of beautiful. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's got like these wheat fields everywhere. They're so pretty. If you say so, man. I like, I like wheat. <laughs> okay, you don't have to farm it. I'm just saying. The middle like... <laughs> looks like spun gold. It's like you're you're Christopher Columbus describing Canada for the for the Queen of Spain. <laughs> Betwixt the coastal I rocky I regions. In high regard. Fields of spun gold, <laughs> canola as far as the eye can see, <laughs> and nary a soul farming it. Well, I'm sorry. I think it's pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah. This place Whoa. isn't pretty. Next time I go to Canada, it's all shit. Don't Not look at it. It's all <laughs> shit. Nobody likes this place. Would you rather? 
Well, I mean, <laughs> we, we make fun of the prairies. You know, we go, hey, hey, nice. Uh, I hope you enjoyed eating at uh, Mount Fuji, the only restaurant in the city that serves Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai, Cambodian, Indonesian, Filipino food. And they go, hey, I hope you enjoyed paying $1,400 a square foot for your house. And then <laughs> we mostly just suffer from national high rates of mental illness after that because mm -hmm. it's a savage roast. Dude, speaking of mentally high rates of mental illness, mentally high rates? <laughs> um, so, there... So, I found out about this thing in Seattle called the Cuddle Club. Yeah. And it's more or less what it sounds like. Oh, you, you just found out about this you stuff? You go there and you, like, I, you, you hug each other? You just cuddle people. Yeah. There's no boners allowed, though. Sounds you... like the flu <laughs> in a jar. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're not, probably not wrong. They yeah, have the bug like, chasers but... infiltrated it yet? <laughs> Am I going to get a cold <laughs> sore afterwards or something? This is such a strange idea, but also sounds kind of interesting. Do you want to get cuddled? Okay. <laughs> you need I mean, a boyfriend yeah, pillow, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you know, it's just it's just interesting. to Like, I wonder what that culture is like. What if you get the smelly person in, out of the group? They yeah. probably vet you if you're smelly. I would hope. I mean, not what, if you're what do you do? Money. What do you do in your life if you're in such a bad place that you go to a club to get hugged and then they <laughs> kick you out for smelling too bad? <laughs> oh yeah, that would be rough, I man. I, I just randomly that. clicked somewhere and got forty nine hundred points. Oh, I'm so mad. Wow. Actually. What? Because I'm looking for this place and I can't find it. I just clicked on the map randomly. I found what the, are the odds? Way, but I didn't find the exact spot yet. So, oh uh, my God. speaking of places that you could get denied access to, I also found out about this other club called, I think it's called Sanctum. That uh, sounds creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. It's like a, a so, multinational faceless conglomerate that's like putting people's souls into the cloud or something. I, I, honestly, like fairly it close. Is? Essentially, essentially, what it is is it costs seventy five thousand dollars a year for membership. Okay, you have to apply and be like basically young and attractive. Okay, yeah. and so what far, it so is. Good. They rent out these giant mansions, and they have, like, these, like, uh, uh, eyes wide shut, like, you know, people in animal masks fucking each other in bondage shit. Like, you Why know. You have to be attractive if you wear all oh. the masks. So. Well, no, but you're not wearing, like, all, you're just wearing, like, you know, like a fucking bull skull. And Plus, you can't put a mask people. on your body. Well, right. I mean, you yeah. can. It's called clothing, but yeah, I guess you take <laughs> it off and, like, <laughs> It's so weird. Right. Yeah, it's like it's, it's rich people orgies, basically. So those are real. Like eyes I wide shut. Yeah. yeah. Is that the main reason to get rich? I no, I don't know. I don't to don't to be in so. blood orgies. Well, blood orgies, uh, mask orgy, whatever kind of orgy. Financial security for you, your family, and all of your descendants. Yeah, yeah but that's like, probably the right one. But... You're more into it for the origin. My descendants, they, my descendants better own their own damn money. You I'm using you all mine before I'm gone. Well, yeah, there's I, like I wonder that. about that sometimes. Like, if you're like super rich, I, I, if you're super poor or super rich, I think those parents have the hardest time. Probably it's harder to be super poor and raise kids. I'll admit, but if you're super rich and your kids are just like, well, I smashed out my car, but it's okay. It was only a hundred thousand dollars. Like. How do you teach those kids to value anything? Isn't well, yeah, like it, like something, you know, some absurd number, like ninety percent of uh, wealth is gone by the third generation. Yeah, in a family. What so. if you're very rich and then you leave all your money to your cats, even though you have like three kids? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> actually horrible. <laughs> yeah, but People that's like that. they do that. They do <laughs> no, that for like, tax reasons, right? Like to avoid inheritance tax. <laughs> I so? would just leave it for the cats. They want like. I'm nice pretty sure that's places. why they do that. And the uh, but um well I mean Bill Gates has given away like his entire fortune. Yeah yeah. It's very nice of him to do that. Yeah and, it's and very, you know what is great is that he's it, not giving. He needs to, to give his... some to this place. <laughs> <laughs> this place looks <laughs> fine, dude. <laughs> this actually <laughs> looks pretty nice. This There's looks like a 
electrical thing over here spray painted with heart emo. It says heart emo. I was literally just. Looking at that. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. This place looks cool, the man. Hell? Yeah, this place looks pretty cool. I don't know where we are, but I'm gonna randomly <laughs> click again and hope for 4,900 points. At least Bill Gates isn't giving his money to his cats. Like, that's the thing. Yeah. Giving but your money to your charity, cats yeah. so that they don't get taxed as high somehow, and then your kids get the money anyway, is like the ultimate dick move. If I was as rich as Bill Gates, I would do like a lottery where I just made somebody rich one once a year. Just like here's a million bucks. The richest person on earth. <laughs> just, like after you die, mm, he can no Here longer do that, unfortunately. Yeah, oh, why not? The Google guy is ahead of him, right? That's correct. Uh, yeah. Really uh, no, no, no. Like Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Brainer. Jeff Bezos oh. passed him. I will be right back. Okay. Wow, that's insane, actually. Jeff Bezos has more money than fucking Bill Gates? He has a higher net worth. That's crazy. Bill Gates owns, like, what, like, 60, 70% of the market share of all personal computing? He's what? slacking, man. He's not That's... being greedy enough anymore. That's crazy. Yeah, this I guess stupid idiot keeps away. giving his money away to try to, like, cure malaria, <laughs> bring clean water to <laughs> underdeveloped nations. Yeah. I guess uh, the other thing is Bezos probably, I think he's like more heavy in the real estate game than uh, Bill Gates ever was. I actually have no idea, but I think he might own the American Postal Service. <laughs> like, do you think it, it, it's not a, if I woke up tomorrow and I saw uh, an, an article that was like Jeff Bezos just says, yeah, we'll deliver the mail. I wouldn't be surprised if he was just like, you know what, we're going to deliver the mail now. I'd be like, yeah, okay. That'd be like, I guess it wouldn't be exactly regulatory capture, but it would, it's like, I don't know. It's along those lines, I feel like. Complete menu with excellent fish choices. Sign me Where up, man. We? I think I know the country that we're in. We serve moose burgers! Mmm, yummy. Wow. Oh, Never had one of those. I panic clicked and I got in the right country at least. <laughs> God damn it. Man. Not in the right area, in the right country at least. If I can get this one right, I'm gonna be a contender for points, but I have no clue where I'm at. It's actually not what I thought it looked like there to be Wait, honest. What the fuck? I are am I in the fucking matrix right now? What I'm 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 I on this road so. and if you travel north you can see a Google car ahead of you taking the pictures that you're They're seeing. Traveling oh. in a fleet. They, they branch off at a certain point. Yeah, no, we got the one with the good camera. They sent the shitty camera up ahead. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> like, they, they'll go in, in a bunch together, and then they'll split off, and then they'll cover an area in the same day. What the fuck? Makes sense. Lumsden, New West Valley, and Gambo. <laughs> you going to Lumsden? <laughs> you're going to Lumsden? Where is this? I think I know exactly where this is. It's in. I'll just sign. tell you straight up. I'm pretty sure it's in Canada, but I believe you are correct, my New friend. New West Gambo. I don't know if that's the ocean or a lake. Excuse me. Can you tell me how to get to New West Valley? Oh yeah, just drive 200 kilometers in the other direction. <sighs> Look at all this pristine wilderness, though. <laughs> Spields of. <laughs> Fun gold. Just... Fields of spun saltwater taffy as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Endless acreage of dandelion and so wheat someone grass. In my ch someone in my chat said, uh, with Jeff Bezos' net worth, he could give away a million dollars to a random person uh, per year for 121,000 years. <laughs> that is literally his net worth divided by... A million. You got right, it. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's still it's still pretty funny. <laughs> oh, I know where we also, are. That's not exactly how net worth works either. <laughs> like, it's not all liquid. Actually, most of it's probably not liquid. Why in, in Quebec there's like a coffee stain on the upper right corner of it? Excuse. Oh, Labrador. It's just like a little circle. It says Reserve Ecologique Louis Babel. That's a, a nature preserve? It's like a weird little island, though. It's so cool. Hit, hit. It's like somebody just put their coffee in the top of Canada and then picked it up again. 
There are so many patches on this road. Mm -hmm. Looks like a tar monster just jizzed everywhere. <laughs> tar monster? Oh, I was way off. It's yeah, a like Schrader? Final Fantasy. Asax yeah. Schrader? I did better this time. We're Not trying. Bad. Wait, did like an asteroid hit Canada at one point? <laughs> I mean, probably. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I just mean, is that like why the world looks like this with the coffee stain? In I Quebec? don't know what you're talking about. This tank <laughs> coffee go to, stain. Go to Quebec, yeah, and then look right of the word Quebec on the map. And oh, okay. Yeah, you know, this like island in the middle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I had to tell you what. Check this out. Go to Oregon. Okay. This is a dang old weird place. I don't know where it is. Called Crater Lake. All right. Yeah. No way. Yeah, man. I don't know. I think, is it this one right? Yeah, Crater Lake right here next yeah, to Mount. Yeah. And you know what island is in the center of Crater Lake? Wizard Island. What? So, you know what? Anything we can do, you can do weirder. All right. I like Wizard Island. What do they have in there? <laughs> Probably inflated real estate. I found Mud Lake. It's got like a shitty beanstalk in it. <laughs> Someone in my chat says, honestly, if I was worth over $20 billion, I'd give a million to every single person on Earth. Just you definitely wouldn't, though. But, but how, that would be, a, that'd be a great story. That would, well, I mean, that would, like, devalue our economy. <laughs> yeah, that would, if, I, if I had, if I had $20 billion, I would give a million to every person on Earth. Yeah, the math yeah. checks out. Except you're <laughs> off by about a factor of 200 or something. <laughs> If you had $20 billion, you could give like a dollar, three dollars to everybody on Earth. No. I, I did poorly on There's that. like seven billion people on Earth. Yeah, but you, you, I mean, you can't give out maybe a million, but you could give, you, I don't think you can give out only three. Am I losing my fucking mind? You have $20 <laughs> billion, dollars, give there's the seven dollars. billion people. <laughs> Look, I'm not a mathematician. You could give out three dollars. The <laughs> units are the same. Ryan, he's not a mathematician. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician. I was just reading out of chat, all right? <laughs> Don't you know he's not a mathematician? I got 18, 5, 11. <laughs> I got uh, 19, 9. Um, I got 18, 5. 19, 7, but I cheated a little. Ooh, that's uh -oh. okay. You gotta... It's HQ, it's man. He's owned up to it, yeah. Dang, me and Ryan on the bottom. All right. Wait, so well, did I win that unbelievable. one? Unbelievable. Uh, it's maybe? between you and Cobalt for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm not a mathematician. So I, I mean, I'm a cheater, so that's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do like one more. 19.9. You only one minute. Oh, shit. Okay. I already loaded oh, no. this game up. It's cutting into our party panic, panic times. <laughs> I mean, I can go look up some more fake football player names if you need. The thing is, here's why everyone's like, I would just give $100,000 <laughs> to everybody on Earth. No, you wouldn't, because that is an incredible amount of work i would buy an island True. that is and then i would move people to it okay now that's yeah. too far i would <laughs> i would move all my subs to it give everybody jobs <laughs> it's rapture and we'd have land parties every night just make like a commune on an island a distant yeah. island. are you gonna do oh the... dude then you could have those eyes wide shut like i was just about to ask that exact story. question yeah. <laughs> are you gonna do the orgies yeah you definitely yeah. gotta do the orgies right all right there's your final seed you gotta wear Isaac shaped masks. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Oh, I feel yeah, like I between, it. you know, a, a couple of oh thousand people, I've got all the jobs covered for an island. <laughs> this is beautiful. You know? We probably have like a yeah, disproportion it's you only, by the way. We probably have a disproportionate amount of like software developers, is my guess. Mm hmm I think they'd be like, well, okay. About seven hundred out of the thousand are software developers. Could this so be Ireland? Somebody's got to be, you know, working the fields as a farmer, I, unfortunately. I think it might be Ireland, yeah. This really looks I mean, like Ireland. We could just import pizza. I you know, we don't say import people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you probably could, right? I mean, you could, you could like. Subs only, a... Rob. Come on. Yeah, but like from places like Sweden, not shithole countries, right? <laughs> right, yeah, exactly true, yeah. I see what you did there. I'm uh, sticking with the. Uh, I'm sticking with this. It's How much would it beautiful. cost to make like a hippie commune on an oh. island? Oh god, the time is so yeah. timey. France. Oh let's god, go. there's so little time. Well, isn't the oh, idea yeah. that like a hippie oh, commune god. like it should cost zero unless you're a fucking fat cat? <laughs> I feel like paying for everything. Goods. So I mean, like you know, not to be anti-hippie here, oh. but like 
I feel like everything costs money. Did I just hear a, a, a woman scream? My pride doesn't. Did anyone else hear a woman scream? It sounded like no. a door shutting going okay. to <laughs> I spent so long hoping it was Ireland I didn't put a guess in. Oh, no. Well, it was close. I, Scotland is basically this, the same country. Come at me, this Scottish. This one's totally France. I don't know. <laughs> it's like Paris or something. <laughs> I, I might, I'm uh, noticing a lot of spray paint on the walls. Which I last might time... <laughs> try to dissuade you. <laughs> I'm guessing Italy now. That's <laughs> where I was going with it. There's a lot of Vespas. Yeah. A lot hey, of not spray bad. Paint not bad. For some reason there. What? The oh, fuck? it was in uh, oh, Bologna. Bologna is disgusting. Fuck. I, I don't know how people like to eat that stuff. I agree I with your like assessment of bologna. I am not a fan of bologna. It is gross. Jesus. Oh, oh, I was way... I think I was off. I think we're actually, like, here. Yeah. Were you in, like, here somewhere? Maybe? Do you have a top-level domain yet? No, but uh, I saw a word that sounds like a region, except the word was spelled wrong, but I'm choosing to believe that it's spelled right in this region's native dialect. Uh, I think I have a top-level domain, but I don't think it makes sense. I'll just be I real know. with you. I saw a sign that said Baltic Autoglass, and I was like, Baltic? Oh, That's yeah, kind right. of like Baltic. That's similar to the Baltic. Yeah, I'm in between, like, Romania, Greece, and... Oh. Yeah, you were right. It was in the Baltic. <laughs> <laughs> I see a Burger King. There is a Burger King here. Oh, it was LT, right. I thought it was IT, and I was being stupid. Why would they capitalize it? It's the... Kukrashta. Excuse me, ma'am, are you Finnish? <laughs> are you Finnish or Turkish? I am not finished. I am just getting started. <laughs> Uzamil! What the fuck is this? Gargamel? Yeah, Gargamel's here. He's gonna... <laughs> so, okay. Oh! Uh, I, I feel like we've talked about this before. But, like, <laughs> what's... Smurfette. Mm. What, what, what's the deal with that, Gargamel? Don't. You know what I'm saying? Gargamel's trying to lure him out. What She's do you mean? Weird... What is um in this situation? Trying to lure he's, lure him out. He's implying <laughs> there's like some kind of weird like baiting with sex. There's some it. weird shit going on there with the, with the Smurfette. Yeah, I mean like let's well, be honest. Well, in one of the new Smurf movies, they find a whole female Smurf village, but it's separate uh, from the male village. Oh, but I don't know if that's Smurf canon since it's in the movie. Smurf right. canon. Yeah, that might not be in canon. You've seen the most recent Smurf films? I have a child. No, you you have a baby. I, well, but the thing is, the singing like makes him happy, okay. so I just turn on enough, yeah. random bullshit that's not like the Punisher, like <laughs> you know. What if the gun violence makes him happy? You know, the Why music acts in the Punisher don't do it for your baby. <laughs> Lisa's like, you can't be watching the Punisher with the baby, and I'm like, why not? And the dude's like gouging eyes out, and I'm like, okay, I'll change it. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> they need to be punished. That's fair. Got to do it. My uh, my little brother wasn't allowed to watch Power Rangers because it was too violent. <laughs> it's like what Power Rangers? Like, come on, oh, man. I mean, the that's like the hit them. Yeah. basically like the Cuddle Club. They're right. barely touch each other when they fight. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Would you let your kid go to a Cuddle Club? Mm, no. I know. That's what I'm I think, saying. I think the you would second not go to church. you accept weakness and search for a solution for it, you enable yourself to be weak. Mm. Why did you That is that? a very backwards mentality of the world. That's why the Cuddle Club is slowly eroding the moral fabric mm. of Western society right. and we're getting passed by other nations. Right, right. Very true, yeah. I agree. I'm at 19-2, uh, by the way. I didn't guess for two of them. I got 1,200. <laughs> I got... Or 12,000, 12, I mean. I got 22-9. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, Lithuania really fucked me, actually. 
Anyway, oh, rip. We're going to move on to... <laughs> See you in three minutes. Yep. To the greatest game ever made, known to man. This is just a tribute. This is just you gotta a believe tribute. me. You gotta believe me, and I wish you were there. Wow. It's just a matter of opinion. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the greatest thing about this game is being in the lobby. Oh, yeah. You think this is updated? I have another question for you. Okay. Do you think that there were music hipsters in like the, like let's say 1600s, well, let's say 1800s, okay? So yes. like when Beethoven came out, then people were like, oh, I can't believe you listen to Beethoven. He's like such a, he just panders to the chords the masses want to hear. I am 100% certain that that existed, yeah. yeah. Hipster culture is as old as art. There's a good mm -hmm. skit in there somewhere. I could see it. There's this little known composer you've never heard of. <laughs> His name's Frankenstein. Well, like in, in that era, like would wouldn't it be like you'd have to be like crazy rich to even have an opinion on music? Oh wow. Well Well no, I mean like geez, you don't Robert, listen yeah. to I'm just saying I may hold that opinion anything. privately, but I didn't necessarily <laughs> want to out it on the show here. In that era, you know, you'd have to be be pretty rich. You'd have to be going to those those eyes wide shut parties to be able to have an opinion on music. What do you think it was like to like hear a song or a piece when you're ten, and then be like, "Oh, I really like that," and then never hear it again for the rest of your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My favorite song was um, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. I heard it once at a a concert hall in Bavaria, and never past that point. <laughs> One second, I'm getting a granola bar. You'd have to have your own band and, and the sheet music. There's a yeah. classic Nintendo in this room. Is there? Yeah. I'm smashing Weird. up the, uh, the room right now. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see what you're talking about. Are you guys in a room together? I'm no. in the choose your region, and my the guys lay on the floor. Hung in the air. Oh, yeah, I see like... that. Yeah. Creepy. I wish it wouldn't, like, dot, dot, dot every time I change region, because I'm trying... There we go. Can I, like, invite you guys? Oh. Yeah. Please do. You can create a game with a password, and then we can try and join it. There's also uh, a... Uh, there's a board game mode in this now. Is there? We should play that, then. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, we have to hold A to continue. I've yeah. never wanted to do it so hard as I do right now. It can't be any worse. Yeah. Oh, Europe is my best region? Yeah, you really think? How is America's 265 MS? Europe is my city. No, they're right. Europe is my best region at 100 MS. What the fuck? That's kind of amazing. You live close. Oh, Should mine I... too. So we're going to Europe then. I guess we're going to play on Europe, yeah. All right. Sure. Um, Are okay. you Lulu? Nope. Did you go to board game, Robert? Uh, not yet. Hold on, I'm creating a game. I have to oh, change yeah, the yeah. overlay. It's, it does this thing. I'm not gonna rag on it too hard, but it says the top option is start the party, and then the second option is online. Yeah, it, 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 it's very confusing. <laughs> Just I on a like basic that. like user friendliness level why not just make it start offline start online <laughs> you guys want to play on the temple of goob absolutely dude yeah that sounds well, awesome what about turns it sets it as as 20. let's do it 20 all right wait i hit start to join you and it says quit no no oh, na, let now me in your game be, now you should be able to do it fine game yeah but like how though uh, I, I gave you the password in Discord. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Please, please cancel. Oh my god, it doesn't. <laughs> just okay. when... I just need to, I just need to rag on this for a second, okay? When you're joining a game, it doesn't lock you out of the other UI controls. Mmm. So now I have a black screen. I'm in. Rip. Just give, just give me a moment. 
Just give me, a, just give me a moment here. All I'm saying is these guys think a raise start at one, maybe two. <laughs> I remember this game. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I feel like if I ready up, then I'm gonna. All oh, right, I can open twelve loot boxes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, don't don't ready up yet. Don't ready up yet. I'm gonna breathe at you through the window. Choose oh. one. Hot Naked Grill, 18 plus. Dude, nice. Freaking sick. Hot Naked Girl, 18 plus. Angle bracket deleted link. Sign me up, man. You can have three different head accessories on at the same time. Oh, yeah. So you can put hat, top hat, top hat, <laughs> stack of hats. I got a pirate pharaoh thing going on. Looks I'm pretty ready. sweet. 3D glasses, top hat, wiener. Oh, I got wiener shoes. You're looking pretty shoes. sick right now. Look at you. Your wiener's looking real good. It's the size you of your whole body. Wiener. I think I'm nice joining guys. Robert's game. <laughs> nice, dude. Uh, nice. I think I'm joining Robert's game. Uh, I believe in you. They're both in here, so you should be able to get in. Are you guys ready to see the worst game known to man, chat? How, how long did it? Are. How long did it take you guys uh, on the like joining game three hundred screen? I know it's about like... ten seconds. Fuck. Here, I'll put it in. You should go to Europe. I am in Europe. That's go how. I, Europe. That's how I spotted the game. Mm. Um, I think you guys are here. Yeah, there's a hot yeah. dog man in now, customizing his. Yeah, you're a hot dog man. Look <laughs> how close I can get. You're loading. <laughs> One sec. Get out of the camera. <laughs> the open mouth stare is so creepy. Are we just blocking Ryan from seeing what is what he's doing with his Yeah, character? they do another thing that's like really avant-garde of putting the UI elements behind the screen, which is a really cool way to approach it in my opinion, but um See, I I can't even hit the ready button is the problem. Why can you not? Because I I, I can't tell you why because there's an Egyptian pharaoh in front of the UI, so I <laughs> Please, I beg you. Just move slightly to the side. You want me to punch you back into the center? Uh, there you go. Okay, I'm ready. All right. I'm a hot dog man. Hey, you're a hot dog man. Let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, I've been a hot dog man my whole life. Right, I guess I'll change my hot dog out. Oh, well, now you're a so. I'll be a princess. All right, Whoa. here we go. Okay. <laughs> they did add a new board game mode. <laughs> which we are playing. Yeah. This could revolutionize the this could industry. change everything. <laughs> are these it minions? Could. <clears throat> yes, they're all minions. I'm not thrilled with that. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, have you seen the new Despicable Me yet, Cobalt? I've never seen any of them. That's my man. Your kid would love them. Despicable is that Me the is... minions one? I thought Despicable Ooh. Me is like good. Isn't this the island of Goob? This is the tiniest the board yeah. game. It's map. way Goob, smaller yeah. than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's to collect the most trophies. All right, I love trophies. It means you won. Three thousand Goober bucks <laughs> in today's economy. <laughs> if you come in first, you get to keep all your Goober bucks. If you come in last, you keep nothing. Oh, here yeah. we go. It's like Jeopardy. Oh, oh yeah. suck oh, it! You got ten. Oh, That's wow! Hell yeah! That's how we do. Oh, we got a thousand goober bucks already. Wow, we're a That's third of the way. This is actually stupid. Mario Party. Yeah. Which it's I want to point out. Party. We asked for. So. Yes! <laughs> no, this, this, I think this could what be fun. What the hell? Oh, I just jump on it. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, hey. got 300 goober wow. bucks. Hey, you did a really good job there on your goobers. Great goob, I'll also dude. be joining you with 300 goober bucks. Mm, I'm thinking I'll get goobs. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> 600, 600 goober bucks. Rob, what are you going to get? Four. I'm going to get four. Hear me out here. He's going to skip and <laughs> gonna... press these. 
Just gonna skip them all? Yeah, I'm just gonna skip them all. Oh, they won't let you. It's better. They thought IQ. about. They thought about it. All right, oh, you guys fighting that, right? Right? me off. My ghost, ghost chasers. Ghost chasers. Oh right, yeah. Okay. Don't let well, the ghost spook you. Don't get spooked. Don't Already. let the ghost spook you. If you get spooked, you get turned into a ghost. Hey, game developers. Stop it with this hold A or hold buttons to, to continue. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. Oh, what? You don't just mindlessly mash the A button at all times? <laughs> thus accidentally skipping things you didn't want to... I'm going to get spooked by this ghost. Oh! Yeah, oh, look at that spook dodge. The only thing you're supposed to do is not get spooked by the ghost. I got trapped by one of these tombstones rose up from the ground. Yeah, yeah, that's not well, good. They'll do that. Your ghost is away from me! Oh, oh I got spooked! You can control your ghost, no. by the way. You I will spook you all. Oh, no! We're together! Oh, oh, no. Spook. oh, no! No, no, no! Let me out! No! All right. The spook souls him. of the dead will come for you! Spook him! Oh, oh come on. Spooked well, too dead. The winner is my win. corpse! Why didn't you just write Northern? How many goober Because I couldn't see get? the goddamn screen! Yeah, I guess Whoa, what, what the hell is that? <laughs> way off. Order it like that. <laughs> okay, whatever. And Dang. Oh, oh, look at that green goob. I want to hit the G spot. Oh my god, so <laughs> many goober points. Oh, he's going to hit Goodbye. the G spot, but he's not going to What? Bye. What is buy something? Would you Would you want me to what? No, I don't have Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, big meanie, make yourself giant. When big, oh, these do not correspond to the things not on the left. All. Okay, yeah. so I was like, oh, double dice, goober bucks from. I would have lost all my bucks. I, I had no money. I couldn't buy them. They were all too expensive. Oh, uh, okay. No. Also, that would be bottom. all of my money. That's a fair point. Well, yeah. The bomb trap to steal the money seems worth. Yeah. All right, come on, give me a nine. Wow. Oh man. That's a position of domination right there. So, bomb trap changes dial you're on to a trap dial. Any player that lands on the side will give you something for bucks. It's like Monopoly houses. <laughs> Why is there an apostrophe next to buy something? Probably green. Uh, how do I... It, whatever I... tile you land on place is the bomb trap, I think. I don't think that did that. Totem Brawl. Whoever has the totem gets points. Punch or kick them to steal the totem for yourself. Whole yeah, day to ready, by the way. By Totem Pete. Oh, boy. I remember this one. Do you remember Totem Pete? Fall meta. Does he have something, something funky beat? Oh. No. no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a no. God damn it. I'll take he's, that. He's running away with it. We have to collude. Ah. Oh, I, I punched him. Collude, collude. Trap him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No! This music sounds like it's right out of America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah. No! <laughs> like a, a very zany montage in, like, an American <laughs> Pie movie. I can't get him! I have no points! <laughs> no. I also have no points. Oh, I'm no. sorry, I have five. That's my mistake. Oh, I've what? been that, punched. That kick, though! Wow, I was not very good at that one. Oh, uh, on. What oh. is my name? This fluffy butt? This <laughs> fluffy butt, yeah. <laughs> He's got those DLSs. Oh, five times zero. That's a zero goober box for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you got no goober box. That's all right. Ooh. Ooh. No thanks. Yeah. Double dice, slow dice. I'm sorry, but I'm having fun with this. This is actually yeah, man. Like, cool. this yeah, is not, good, it's yeah. not nearly as bad. Minus. I was saying that the game needed this to be any kind of fun, and you know what? I think they did a pretty decent job. This is all right. How many uh, oh. maps were there for this? Battle game time. Everyone pays three thousand goober bucks. Um, what? I have well, no money. That's gonna what? be us. Be the first to catch the chickens and put them in your cage if you can ask for chickens and bonus. Oh, I've played Zelda before. I know how to do this. Oh, no. All right. How do you pick up the chickens? B. 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 Okay, cool. Thank you. Catch B chickens. Well, I think they took too much money. Oh. The chickens don't go where you put them right away. 
Mother chicken! He flew right out my coop! No, don't do it. Mother clucker. That's cheating. <laughs> what? Get in the coop! It's such bullshit that you're gonna steal from each other. I haven't stolen from anybody. Only Rob has stolen from me. It's some Pharaoh is stealing from me exclusively. What you draw! What do you mean? You're close to me! What do you mean, draw? Get what? Out. You just, you just won chicken. now after doing that! The timer stopped! Wait, no, no the timer didn't I don't stop! Know, Are we still playing? My, yeah, my I'm chickens still playing. are getting out! Why is it draw? I thought we were done. <laughs> no, you fucker! Draw? What? <laughs> oh yeah, it's three-way 400. <laughs> so, the game ended for me and then you stole all my chickens. <laughs> oh, that what is. happened to I'm that? Nice. All of my money is gone because the game ended early. <laughs> No, you see, uh, actually, you what happened, like that. actually what happened is that when we hit the time limit, we had more uh, bananas than you did, even though we died twice, so oh, uh, yeah, we, we awarded you. a match victory to the other three players. I don't, I, I want to know how to use my item. <laughs> I'm not going to no. help you. It's war now. I'm pressing like all the buttons. You have, you have to jump to get to that last one there. Your tongue's flicking out pretty good. How do you Try use the item? A little more. <laughs> <clears throat> you, can you move one space forward, Robert? I'm trying to use... I want to use my item, though. I think you have to put it where you stop. Well, Cobalt no, can my get turn. in L. Yeah, that's... The, oh, your that's turn's it. over. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. See if he's beta's over, universe. No, it's all in play for, uh, for war now, because I got screwed on that last game. Find gems. Oh, Wait, dude, I, I haven't heard this song in forever. How do I slash attack? <laughs> uh, X. X. Oh, I see. I remember this from Zelda. This is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can't sword me. I sorted you, dude. This is going to sound Zelda. sarcastic, but if they're going to choose a royalty-free music track, they actually chose a pretty good one. Yeah! <laughs> I feel like I get Tony Hawk to this. Yeah, exactly. I, I just... It gets kind of worse. Wish they chose a couple more than this, though. <laughs> Stop! No. I've run out of grass. Ah. Uh, oh, I came in second. Oh, I came in last. See in God hell, bitch. It. I'm gonna get zero goober bucks. <laughs> Back to 300. Ooh, nice. math. All right, somebody <laughs> land on my tile. God damn it. <laughs> I get them no money tiles. Rip. It doesn't seem like buying wow. anything is a great idea, except I spent all my money, and then I won a lot of Nick's money in that game, which mm. was like I. There ideal. goes all of my money again. Wait, wait, okay. Show map. <laughs> Can I? Okay, I'll... every button that is not A. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm I'm really trying. I'm hitting every button that's not A, clicking the sticks. Yeah, I don't I think it might just be like if you land on my tile, then you'll Oh, and you're almost there. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let me get a yeah. Oh wow. If you if you time it, you can actually get Oh <laughs> right oh. on that. Oh I don't have three thousand. Oh, you can't make an offering sorry. to Temple. Oh no, but Northern Lee does. If only the government had land given on you the amount of goober bucks necessary. Mm. Dude, if I hadn't gotten fourth in that last one, I actually would have had enough goobs. I think this is some kind of entitlement state or something. Oh, right. How does this work? Oh, you gotta press A. Oh no! Yeah, you do! Hey, that's not cool. You're knocking boxes down. London. Knock him out the box, Rick. Knock him out, Rick. Oh no, you fucker! You son of a bitch! Oh! oh no. Stop, Stop grabbing on! Fucking hot dog man, just dodge the boxes, you silly. Oh, he's made moves! This is a tough one, also. It's like, how many times do I need to press this button? I'm not going I, any faster! I really wish they let you just hold down. <laughs> I'm like, okay at mashing, but Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rah, yeah. Wait, actually, though, I beat you if you look at the scores. Oh, so uh, I got a thousand. Press B to use item before you roll, apparently. Hey, we all did great. Oh, we all got it. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, I get to... 
Do I get to do it now? Can I buy no, now? Of course not. Motherfucker. One. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone pays no. five thousand oh, super bucks. No. Stop taking our fucking money. <laughs> Jump on the zombies to get points. Don't worry, they cannot hurt you. Oh, Who fuck. has five thousand of wager on a game? We all just got a thousand for free, and none of us had five thousand. Oh no. Don't whip me! I, I can't understand this perspective. I'm like slightly off to the side. No. No. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. <laughs> I thought maybe you were worrying. I better get some fucking goobs for this. I'm gonna be real soft. You're not getting any goobers! I, I need goobs in my life. You can punch <laughs> people? No! No, this motherfucker. Oh, I tied for third? Tied for third. third? Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what happens oh. now if you tie for oh, third. Oh, you get 12% of your goober box back. Okay. <laughs> that's terrible. Wait. Yeah, no, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, can I stop waiting? Okay. Please do. Oh. Sorry, oh, Nicholas. Chance either way. <laughs> he does not have enough. I would like to make an offering. Oh, I can't. Be gone. No. Oh. <laughs> Please. Do not get him a 10. Yes! Oh, no. Oh, no. 2,000 goober bucks is nothing. Candy That's brawl. Uh, collect the candy points. If you get punched, you will lose points. Watch out for falling bombs. Okay. Third mini game in this grave area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> worry, yeah. they can hurt you. <laughs> Do worry. This is not that bad, actually. It's a lot better than the previous edition of this game. Hey, fuck off! How have I not? <laughs> I was spamming X, and it wouldn't touch him. Watch out for bombs. <laughs> Are you kidding? Can you not? <laughs> oh, I have ten. Get this. Oh, you compound me on the floor. Stop this, blue boy. Oh my god. Being hit also drops no. your score. It does. No. I totally <laughs> wide you first. <laughs> This makes me maybe more mad than Mario Party. <laughs> no! Yeah! Uh, I got me a kick in. Box, baby. The oh, last I'll second. accept it, but... You play Monopoly next time. You know what? It doesn't bother me. I made $44 on that. <laughs> Do I get to play at the... Oh, no, I don't. Okay, so press B at the start. B does nothing. You have lied. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's if they land on the square that you're standing on. I think that's what it is, yeah. What if they just get one? Can I buy the thing now? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Holding B, pressing B, not, yeah, nothing nothing works for this. All right. Just roll two. <laughs> There's your one. <laughs> oh, oh, spooky oh, This is a good one. Oh, right. Spooky <laughs> shootout is an all-time classic. <laughs> Garbage. Well, but it's ghosts, but it's not in the graveyards. So that's nice. <laughs> yeah, because we have we're in the Wild West this time, where the ghosts are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, is, this one's a classic. Where do you oh. think the ghosts are gonna be? Oh, we shoot it more than once. Yeah, you shoot it as many times as you want. I'll shoot it as many. Oh, don't times shoot the red one. Possible. Or do shoot the red one. Do be afraid. You hear the sounds coming out of these ghosts? Yeah, they got a I'm lot of I'm about to shit fun. myself. Well, wasn't the joke with this one that, like, if you get to a thousand, it maxes out? <laughs> oh, yeah, we all tie. <laughs> that's, that's why, yeah, like, you just always tie. How do you get this far into game design, but also make that kind of a decision? <laughs> you know? Unironically, Actually, like, like, seriously. <laughs> what what happened, guys? Motherfucker. <laughs> My finger is so <laughs> sore. I was using the London 2012 style. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. I only did it a little bit. I should have done it more. Yeah, I should have done it more. No! <laughs> <laughs> Minus 300 goo. Oh my gosh. I'm currently in the lead for spaces. Let's see if that matters. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I have Battle zero trap. money, so it's fuck coin. you. All right. Uh, I would like to roll <clears throat> a high number, please. Uh, Eight. Does he have enough? Oh, he has enough goobs to buy two. Can he buy two? Goob has blessed you. I think Can I All he needs is one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's for uh, whoever oh, plays oh, all it. right. Well, it's on, it's on your character profile. Well, you have a star now, basically. So. Oh, yeah, star, okay. Yeah. At the oh, end, it's will be use you know. item. There you go. The the yeah. trophies are just Mario Party stars, as far as I can tell. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, actually, kill me. Um, no. Oh, I oh, I've played one. these before. These are all right. Uh, don't you dare cake or punch me in this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bam, 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 bam. Great game. <laughs> Wait, what? What do we have to make? Blue whales. I think we have to make the whales. Yeah. No, no, no! Stop it! Get out of here! Why is the camera so weird? <laughs> like, going left and right doesn't exactly make you go left or right always. You guys just want to have a truce and add more money to our economy? What is the truce? By all agreeing to not fuck with each other's puzzles. <laughs> By all known laws of aviation. No! I'm not gonna make it anyway. I'm done. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it! What? Damn it. When so I finished, mistakes. the game didn't end, so what does that mean? Well, because you can fuck with other people's puzzles in that game. But. So it doesn't matter if you finish or not. So the winner isn't the first person to make the puzzle. You no. still you still won though because you oh completed it. Oh my god! Every decision they make is weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! Is he gonna kill it onto my bomb? <clears throat> oh, he did. Not today. Oh, so mad. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh! He oh! Made oh. Bomb How come your bomb is like cooler looking? What's that about? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to steal your goober bucks, please. You fucking what? You're lucky. I forgot you, how to use items. You the American <laughs> government. I'm the, the lowest paid one here. All right, just anything but two. Five. Hey. All right. Hell yeah. All right, three hundred goobs. I like it. Crumbling, Crumbling tiles. tiles. Yeah. This seems all right. Oh boy! How many Punching. turns have we gotten through so far? <laughs> like a million. third of the game. <laughs> gun, 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 gun. Stay alive. Oh right. Okay. When when will the crumbling tiles? I crumble? think after the dark one. Oh, or you could just fall off if you're stupid. Yeah. Oh oh no! Come on! I'll be doing this now. What? Oh, I guess you like don't really have to move, huh? Bomber knots. Yeah, it is a little bit. You can just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no indication those were coming. So that game could have also ended when someone was the last person alive. Yeah, well, I guess you get more goobs the longer you stay alive, uh, so I guess that's the whole Are you kidding? The one red? Cobalt has actually <laughs> lost, like, 1,200 <laughs> as a result so of the rolls. Oh, thank God you didn't get the battle black. Bl black. Battle, oh black. <laughs> battle match. Battle whatever. <laughs> Whoa, oh, you're oh, joking! Oh. I can't handle oh, him. Oh, oh, oh. Get away from me. <laughs> I, just, I stole your money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with Cobalt's character? What's wrong? Does anyone see his head is vibrating oh, no. out of control for me? <laughs> I wish my head was vibrating. 
So do I get I get to choose here? Yeah. Uh, this is like playing Monopoly, but every other tile is luxury tax. <laughs> His head is still going. This is much safer. Yeah, give me the 600 Gs, dude. Collect treasure from the, the bottom of the ocean. Bottom of the ocean, and bring it to your goal. Don't get hit by the zappy fish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was thinking about getting hit by the zappy fish, though. So. Don't tempt me, Keto. Yes, I am very oh. salty. This game is making me really mad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, you press A, huh? Nope, I got hit by the zappy fish, and it exploded, as Unless zappy things do. That don't is very that. zappy of it's that fish. It's new ska. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's getting hit by the zappy fish. No, that zap is not gonna zap me, dude. I'm so far back. There's two zappy fish! Dude, I'm stuck in my tube! What the <laughs> fuck? Get out of there! Can't get I any treasure it. from the bottom of the ocean if you're in your tube. Yo, let yourself London in 2012 this. Your dude will swim at like lightning speed. Alright. You no, know how, I got zapped, dude! You know how you're every other me. every other swimming game in history no. is like you're supposed to hit a rhythm? Not this one. Tied for first, tied for second. <laughs> I got cock blocked at the end. By the zappy fish. Mm. Whatever, free money. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, yeah! Hey! Let's see that Nick's character is also out of frame in his character portrait? No. It's, no. For it's me, fine on my... I know how they did it. Is like they for that they just keep a camera pointed at wherever your character model is, and yeah, Nick is uh, lost in the ether of space. Now he's back. There <laughs> he is. Thanks, JP. That's pretty funny. You're not gonna bomb me or anything for standing on your tile. <laughs> I, if I could, I might. But I mean, I got 1,100 goober bucks, so he's got a lot of goobs. Might as well rob me and stab me. <laughs> I don't want to live in a society like this board game. Mm, the rich get richer, baby. Oh, I should have yeah. used my double dice, dude. I Man. agree, Wolski. Everyone in the stream is being absolutely Bingo Town 3 right now. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, jump about. over the spinning spikes and stay alive. Time your jumps just right, and you might not die. Last one standing wins. Mm hmm. Careful, they will hurt. They will. Oh, you can buy the Party Panic soundtrack on Steam. Nice. It's Are they not, allowed to do that? It's not royalty free. Evidently not. I mean, this is actually a game from Mario Party. Not exactly this, but like this concept. Hold on, I'm just doing fun. a mini game. Oh, you... I died. Firehouse? Yeah. Cheddar bit brisket. That sounds um, awesome. Oh, I didn't jump. I died. Oh, no. Do it. Do it. No. Oh. This is usually the one thing I'm good at. Oh! That looked laggy as hell. <laughs> Wait, what? What is it? No, oh, okay. You fall under the lava to another surface of lava beneath the lava. The Mario Party version of this game. I think this is the sh shitty version of Mario Party, not <laughs> basically yeah. the other way around. Please, no red. Oh. Hey. Okay. You got 300 Gs. <laughs> Do you think we get like free money for pass and go? Um, I don't know. No, <laughs> I'm never gonna know. I was actually trying to hit the 10, so I, I waited too long, I guess. Um, actually, you know what? I'm saving my goob. My, I, my I goob hate to be the guy to say this, but like, Save your goob. it's, so it's actually kind of more enjoyable than yes. the most recent Mario parties. Because. <laughs> Those ones, the mini games are ten times better, and the game is way, way, way more polished. But like, at least you roll for yourself, and yeah. like, instead of just all like moving together, and then they arbitrarily give you a mini game. That is really stupid. I don't even understand why it's structured that way in the Mario Party games now. It's very dumb. Wait, do you die if you go too far off? I think you <laughs> do. I think I think I remember that we do. God damn it! What? Let me Stop out. fucking punching me! <laughs> no! I'm gonna kill you all! <laughs> Wake up, little pirate! Wake up! Every game is decided.
Dead down. Punching. Dun, 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 dun. I regret starting the punching. Oh. Oh. Smash. <laughs> You're supposed to die after I punch you once, <laughs> not come back and get revenge. <laughs> oh. <All right. clears throat> <clears throat> oh. Coming for you, weird cat dog thing. It's weird yeah, to me no. that the word saying smash always means sex now. <laughs> yeah. No! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah. What did he buy? Oh, he bought the double D. How do I use my double D? Uh, the you start of your turn. Yeah. You start. Uh... Oh yeah. All right, hold on. I gotta take a look at this. <laughs> you don't get to choose yet. You just go around. Yeah, you're right. I guess we're eating firehouse subs for dinner. Ooh. Can I buy more than one? I think as soon as you buy one, it's purged. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna. No thanks on that one. Your character's vibrating. The wiener's vibrating now. <laughs> vibrating wieners, dude. The Octo Goober is trying fast. to get you. Swim as fast oh. as you can to survive. Oh no! You know I'm already getting carpal tunnel. Press hey, A more. Haters will say that it's a little similar to the whale game. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just haters. Yeah. You know what we do? We dab on we them. We absolutely dab on the haters. All right, here we go. This is gonna be good for the old forearm. It's not even up yet. I punch you? Okay, no, you're lucky. Oh, you do have to hold right. Oh! oh there's oh, there's oh. mines! Uh, 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 Freak uh, off, guys! Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get caught by the Octo Goober. Never mind. Uh, he's Nobody's ever deserved it more in their entire life. You can just float, you can just float above him? Yep, you can. Uh, there's no upper bound, so you can just dodge them by staying near the top. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna eat my words. Wow. I feel like staying near the top is a pretty good strategy, though. It's not the worst, hey, but it might kill us now. Wow, purple, nope. purple. Who is purple? That is I me. got your ass. <laughs> oh yeah. You better believe you deserve to get hit All right. there. Get targeted. As if you weren't already. Get, get targeted. Yeah, all for 185 goober bucks. Great yeah, job. You, you took me out of the thousand, it. though. Ooh! Oh, he double deed. <laughs> Fifteen. I'm coming for ya. Oh. I'll take one of these. I'm poor. Oh, I'll give really me the big I could money. Look at the map on other people's turns, so I don't have to make you guys wait while I <laughs> while I count. Well, you only you only get. <laughs> <laughs> I want to walk in the ocean and drown myself. I walk it won't let me die. Road. I can't kill myself in this game. Oh, the big papa. That is an enormous dice. He's going to have 20 stars before we get there. If you're wondering how I keep getting ones, it's because I keep shooting for tens and being off by a millisecond. Yeah. Damn it. That was going to be my play, but he already Can you get double. another one? Give no. Me that, give me that trophy. All right. Yeah, this is, this is a double <clears throat> D. Can you do me a favor and try to time it? To, yeah, exactly. I think you can time the dice roll. You can, yeah. You yeah. Can. That's how I keep getting a one. I've been I've been mm. timing like every one of my dice rolls. I have not. Yeah. Give hey. Me oh no! <laughs> no! That's <laughs> my own bomb. Oh, no. no! I shouldn't Wait, do anything. I fell over. You, you I, killed I, yourself. If you spin fast enough, you fall over. That's just <laughs> great game mechanics right there. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just fall over oh, out of no. sheer tiredness. I, I couldn't. There we go, yeah. Plinko panic. Plinko panic. Oh, I like Plinko, though. Heads, Heads are, falling are falling from the sky. Collect them to get points. Never mind, it's got punching. It's got and punching. And kicking. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that uh, shower rat is a Pacarana, by the way. Or Pacarana. I don't hey. know. He's Frig huge. Frig off purple. We're letting Pink get all the garbage. There's nothing on this side. It's hard to let anyone do anything when you're always down. 
God, you were so far away from me. No, Kame, nice hot game. kick. That's so bull. I have been down this entire time. Oh, canceled out. I'm spamming X. It also matters not when you punch. God damn it. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter at all. Time. I'm not even allowed to move. <laughs> this is so bullshit. I haven't moved. I can't move. I can't move. That is so dumb. I don't even want to stream anymore. Like I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> the kick is AOE. Who That's thinks this so is fun? <laughs> That's actually uh, the dumbest. Just take out the fucking punching. <laughs> I just Jean Claude Van Damme your ass. <laughs> oh, the nine. Nine? Is that enough to get him there? Oh no. No. It's not. No. So in theory, he could still lose uh, a little bit on the next game. We gotta steal Ryan's goob crowns. Yeah, I don't know if you can do that, but like, I hope you can. <laughs> how does it? How does it go so fast? Like, does it count down? Yeah. No, it goes well, up. counting up. You'll see the the one of the ten flash by, and you just use that as your your tempo. Yeah. Bam. 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 Dick. 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 It's like playing Cuphead all over again. All the good stuff got bought out already. Yeah. Well, I mean, double dice is really strong at the end there. The good stuff. <laughs> the mega daddy. Oh yeah, timed perfectly. Well, yeah, I mean, double dice seems like there's yeah. no reason not, not to, not, right? Like... Ooh, what is that? What? It's purple! <laughs> Why, is that... <laughs> Why is that a negative thing? Oh, Nick, this looks like your kind of game. Why? Stay under the spraying water to punch Nick. <laughs> oh, it's this. <laughs> Stay under the spraying part. water to cool yourself off while fighting your friends. Ha, 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 ha. Go. God. Wait, what? Where am I? No! No. This is actually very much like the carnival game where you shoot the water into the clown's mouth. Yeah. Like the concept, I mean, not what we're actually doing, obviously. <sighs> My favorite part is after you're punched, how you take like five seconds to stand up. Yeah, that's oh my the worst. god! <laughs> Are you guys punch mains or kick mains? Uh, I like the kick. I'm a pokey main. That's I, a I got wrecked that time. I have one. I, right, it maxes out at a thousand. I got. Congrats, Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Goliath, for the sub. <laughs> I've got You're not a supposed to sub. Moves. Nobody subs on a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, oh I gotta, I'm not Why is it nobody game? subs on a Thursday? That does seem like a thing. All right, so I, like I get that the battle mash removes some some juice, but like feel like uh, the economy's a little screwed up here in this game. How so? Everybody's got three thousand bucks when mm. by the time they get to the yeah, I'm I guess we, we haven't hit that many uh, battles recently. It feels like yeah. the, the trophies should cost more every time you go around. Probably, yeah. That would make sense. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Might as well double down. You got a double D? Another sub! What is going on? Ooh, only got 11, though. I actually... Thanks, Putin. Latency is theft. <laughs> You're gonna swing I, it to the left? Either way, <laughs> I think I end up at the same spot. Yes, I think it's the same. <clears throat> how do you um, know how many turns are left? Whenever the first person goes. Oh, it says it at the beginning. It says X out of 20. Whoa. Thanks, hey, thanks for the sub gift. Hey, you made a good point. I mean, there's another there's another shop. Oh, oh my favorite ever. This is the one. <laughs> I like this this is one. the one. I like this one. There's no punching. It doesn't work though. Don't well, it care. didn't work. Doesn't Let's have punching. See if it works this time. <laughs> what? 
Okay. Hey, look, I look like a big old wiener. Yep. Oh, where's the duck? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I forgot we duck. Yep. Can't see because of the smoke clouds. <laughs> yeah, you guys are constantly getting hit for me. No! Couldn't see shit. Am I dead? No. <laughs> <laughs> we're not oh. dead. Oh, no, we're I'm dead. Okay. Um, I'm that's getting fast. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that's just Wait, you're not so dying. Abusive. What the fuck? What? Ah. <laughs> you got hit constantly. How did you win? I think it was latency. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, bullshit. I don't. I mean, like I lost. But I do think the person that's closest to the camera gets a huge advantage in terms of being able to see what's coming and also not be overwhelmed by anybody else getting hit and releasing enormous clouds of smoke behind them. I was three in though, so no, you like I give you more credit than than uh, you even give yourself in that one. But like for me, ah. I was like, as soon as the so... smoke showed up, I was like, I can't see shit. What's really my advantage to rolling higher numbers though? But, well, because you could get to the trophy quick. But I get but he's right. I that lose it, 1,500. Right, it it doesn't even point. matter yeah, if yeah. you get to the... Um, unless you well, were going well, for a win, is, maybe. If someone, behinds you, if someone behind you gets to, like, a battle tile, then you could lose more money than 1,500. <laughs> That's true. I'm kind of with Nick on the game theory here. Yeah, I think you're probably... <laughs> Dude, you actually can't well, predict it with latency, if I you're, think, so. If you're closing in on someone winning just then getting to the trophy might make the difference, but that's, like, the only time. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yo, wait, wait, where's the turn number? Is there any turn number it, On the first person's turn. It tells you the turn. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. The uh, winner at the moment right now is Ryan's got two trophies, which means it's the same as Mario Party. They're stars. You know what? I wish I'm there was a, other try. way to earn those besides just buying yeah. them too. Yeah. I figured there'd be games where they'd get wagered. Oh, Boulder Dash. Like if you All land directly classic. on a, a thing at the end or something. What was Maybe the, there's like... ways. I don't know. Avoid. Wasn't it uh -oh. like you could just do this? Pop up. Yeah, but then you, uh, yeah, you but can like, get hit though. One yeah. one comes in, it sweeps everyone that's trying to hide. No! Oh! It's like don't ball. try to jump over them. Wait, you can't jump them? It's a very oh, you can. No, I, I just oh! one. This is a very bold design decision to not allow punches or kicks in this one. <laughs> I agree. I want to cross over. I want to be on this side. Oh my God. I don't know. It's better now. No, he was right. Cobalt was. No. Coming. Wait, what? It didn't um, what? My what? I'm coming for All you, right, Rob. You can Oh, no. <laughs> I got your ass. Dead oh, right. let's go. I got your ass. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Crushed your torso. Uh, I didn't realize that was you guys controlling that at first. I didn't know we could stomp dead with no momentum and then steer toward you. That's I don't nice. think the developers uh, knew that, to be honest. <laughs> All right, turn 16. Of 20? Correct. Uh -huh. In the money... We're in the money. We're in the money. It's a great song. Yeah. Top why? Oh, why? Why is purple? Six, why is purple six hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Go. Oh, what? Mm -mm -mm. It looked like sixteen when you hit it to me. Yes, it did. It, oh, are you fucking Wait, did you also oh, see 16? Robert! I'm so mad. You like, might run I... out. Oh my god. Don't hit the cars right or you will lose points. Throw left, throw right. Oh, this is like Paper Boy. All right. Okay. Paper Guy. It was 16 when I hit it. That's so bullshit. Wait, what was throw right? B? Yeah. B, yeah. It's okay, X so B. it's to the same side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why is purple minus 600, though? Wait. Oh, what the? What okay. are we getting? What I the hell? Totally at a wrong time. Wait, what are you, what are you supposed to do? Death, 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 death the, the door. Oh, okay. We're, we're DoorDash for presents. Oh, God. There's so many doors. We got quite the route. Don't hit the cars. Do you get, like, minus points if you hit the cars? 
Something gives you minus. Yeah, somebody just got danged. You gotta have lead time in there. Yeah, it's weird because we're like not. We're hitting each thing. other's presence. Yeah. You bitch! You see what I'm saying? Like, if someone else delivers at, like, in front of you, it blocks your present from hitting the door. But there's nothing you can do because you're stuck in place. Unless you're in first. Let's go! <laughs> God. Oh, God damn it, I'm in last. So I'm the so person good. in the front wins. Well, I was in the front and I lost. I, I was in the back yeah. and I tied for the win, but I did hit everybody's present. I actually the think I might have collided with people's presents and hit the doors multiple times. <laughs> Big me. Why didn't they just put us all in a line? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that would have been a really easy decision to make, huh? <laughs> just to put us all in I a line. I feel like I'm making these decisions that take one second and they're just, they can't get there. <laughs> That's not too bad. Yeah. Hey. No, I want. Get a big meanie. I. No thanks. Only twenty five hundred goober bucks. Oh, I should have spent because I'm. We're coming to this game. Oh, Everyone's putting no. up three thousand. No, no, it's oh, my money. Oh, God. No. Collect your. See, color. this is why I wish that double dice took me where I'm supposed to. That, I'm see, so bad at color. colors. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Put it in the gold. <laughs> Oh. No, don't sabotage anyone. Sabotage Two of your you opponents. Look just like me. <laughs> sabotage your opponents by placing bombs in their goal. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Oh boy. Good luck. Go well, I can at least put bombs in so somebody's. Get thing. your own color, put the bombs in others. Yeah. Well, I guess you don't Save want it to explode yourself. on you if I had to guess. There's a blue one. That's I don't know mine. if that's my that's color. Mine. Oh, I just put my own head in the furnace. Is this don't. my color? I don't know! No, it's not! Minus 50! <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't! I'm not getting any heads! Oh, that one was my color. Get out of the way. Here, have a pink one. Oh, thanks! <laughs> oh, that just fell off. Didn't go anywhere. Yeah, mine, mine did the same thing, actually. You put a bomb on mine. You're That's winning. not my color? What do you mean? <laughs> He's good. I did it so that you would be behind me. And you were. Oh, that was like for all the money. <clears throat> so yeah, remember, yeah. Co Cobalt is colorblind, and me and him are like... <laughs> three of us are sort of the same color palette. Uh, yeah. No, no. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, this is a great one. I remember this. Oh, right. We just oh pressed my it's, it's, God. Our it's our 10th Only variant that. of no. mash the button as fast as you can. All right, here we go, boys. I mean, in fairness, one. Oh. <laughs> this is weightlifting. I'm gonna Who burn my is in second? Off. But it doesn't matter because if you break the, the whole thing, then we all get to a thousand. Oh god, I've lost the rhythm. I'm burning my fingerprint off with friction! <laughs> ah! Oh, that blistered me instantly. Oh my god, <laughs> I blistered my finger. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I actually blistered my you were, finger. You were going so fast. We are all tied for five, for a thousand with like fifteen seconds. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad right now. <laughs> oh no! Of our first party panic injury. Oh, look at it. Why did we do this? Why did we even? <laughs> I almost started a fire on my controller. I was looking at my like peripheral vision. I just saw the second <laughs> column was just like. <laughs> that was incredible. It was well worth it, but ow! It really it wasn't. wasn't. You did not get any extra points. Nobody got any advantage. Time. But look how fast it went. <laughs> oh, now I can't get a one. Now of all. Well, oh, no, you, you, do, you it. do it as yeah, as long as you pass over. Thanks. Look at it, guys! Oh can my 
at least it looks... have my trophy that I just bought? <laughs> no, like no it disappears song. after Thanks. <laughs> Oh! I mean, might as well. I, I didn't oh, I know didn't... it was possible to blister that fast. Medic! <laughs> yeah. That's a v V22 code. Don't Instead of mashing the button, I just ran my finger back and forth over it as fast as I could. Oh, Lord. Don't... I should have lubed it up first. <laughs> Wipe some butter oil on there. Yeah, something. I'm sorry, guys. I was pressing A. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah. some, some kind of moron pressing the A button. Fucking A. I'm... Hold A. I hate Hold A in AAA games, too. Oh, crap. Okay, launch the grid. Oh, thank goodness, God there's no punching. No, oh, but you can wiggle push. Oh my goodness. Wiggle pushed out of my element. See, I even made some room there. Mm -hmm. This is a cool game. Yeah. This one's totally fine. No. Unless no. you can, like, walk off the lava, then I'm kind of pissed at it. Oh! oh! No! No! Get out of there! You killed me! You have killed <laughs> what? Me. You I saw him clearly get squished! Let's he go! He was phasing through everything. God damn. <laughs> he went down to the minus room. <laughs> oh, that's I crazy. need a band aid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It hurts so bad. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever seen mashing that fast. <laughs> there was no mashing. It was more of like a slide. You should apply that to your London skills. You could lift yeah. any weight. What the hell? I used my big daddy and it did nothing. Oh, I think you placed a bomb. You placed a oh, bomb. Yeah, yeah. I meant, oh, I bought the wrong thing. I feel you. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa. So as long as Ryan doesn't actually, yeah, like if he can't buy a second idol in two turns, then I could tie him for the win. Mm, that's that's true. Yeah, perfect. He's got so much money. Yeah. Also, me and wait, me and Cobalt are very close to tied as well. Slippery sprint. Yeah. <laughs> I lost all my monies. If you're not careful, you're sliding off the edge. So just walk on the ice, okay. Yeah. Uh, X is punch, Y is kick. Is it? Does just it kidding. <laughs> Murder! I wait to show Lisa this. Holy! Oh no, That's I'm already off. Substantially you... faster than I thought it was. Can you just not? All right, didn't we never finish this or something? I'll finish this. Oh god damn it! Ah! Uh, you get money every time or points every time you get to the checkpoints. Oh, that's oh. a checkpoint? No. Okay, this this one's a little tough. <laughs> yeah, this is oh. rough. This game is legit, though. Yeah, this oh. is a pretty decent minigame. There's a whale! Yeah, this one's not bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've done a lap! But you don't win. You just get points. You get points, yeah. The real trick is you just get to a thousand. Alright. I did one Shiced. lap. No, oh, so let's go. It's tied for second. <clears throat> Euro. Bullshit. Some ice might make it feel oh, better. You Nothing. can cheat the checkpoints? Win. Wait, if you just like go no. back and forth? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> really? That's true. Oh, I guess you could, yeah. Between the between those the middle ones, right? I'm too poor. Oh no. No! We're good, we're good. Purples? Oh, okay, not purple. Oh, this is the this is the, the this is the big turn. Right, because if Ryan, oh. if Ryan doesn't get enough, then we tie. How the, do we but play I, on turn twenty? I have, have thirty four hundred more dollars than you. It yeah, looks right, like a but you, we have to. Oh, well, you think it'll it'll do that as a as a tiebreaker? It doesn't matter anyway. He had to get a nine or a ten, and he, he got and a he nine. Did. <clears throat> yeah. I'm, I'm pretty salty about Damn. it. <laughs> Yeah, and then I get a 10, of course. Yeah, spend some money, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you think that's the tiebreaker? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to... This is the last turn, so... Can't He's wait for this to turn into a callus. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to be able to really go at it. Thanks, Murder Kitten, for the sub. Punch Kicker. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're 
<laughs> all your favorite mechanics put into one. <laughs> awesome. Punch kicker. <laughs> Can we just at least just keep it on this mini game? Yep. Oh, you weren't even close to me. Oh, those what the? <laughs> all right, I forgot about those things. What we knocked each other out? Yep. Um, oh, no. a four way. Uh, I don't. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I wish there was some sort of strategy to this at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's punch kicker. <laughs> With, no. Why does the punch never connect? <laughs> oh great! <laughs> what? No! I've won. I don't know how I won, but I won. That sick turtle. <laughs> All right. Easy win. Woohoo! Looks like we're at the end of the game, and it's time to see who is the winner. Yeah. Let's oh, take a look okay. at how many trophies and goober bucks everyone collected. I have more Seems money like than you. <laughs> Let's take a look at how many... <laughs> the pickpocket trophy goes to the player who stole the most goober bucks oh, from others. I got that. Mm. That's me. Mm -hmm. The item collector trophy goes to the player who bought the most items. That's uh, both of us. Yeah. Tied. I didn't know there are all these different trophies you could get. <laughs> the speed racer trophy goes to the player who completed the most laps around the board. All right. The winner uh, is... <sighs> I'm so salty you got that nine or ten. <laughs> What did you get? A thousand trophies? Oh, okay. <laughs> Ten thousand bit. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you, Faye. Hurry, apply these 10,000 bits consecutively to your blistered finger. <laughs> Will do. Great Dude, band aid. If the game didn't screw me out of that 16 and you didn't get that 9 or a 10. I'm so mad. There's so many other trophies. Oh, do I not? I thought they'd give, the like, they give us some stats or something. No, nothing. Choose oh, one. Halo. Common Hello. hat triclops. Common hat demon horns. What, what time is it? Is it? Oh, oh it's only. time to stop. Oh, oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. epic hat firestorm. That's a lucky break, Cobalt. I'm opening the loot box. Congrats. Can't wait till we play this next so I can use my Firestorm. <laughs> Epic costume dino! Yeah, I got a hula costume, so that's so pretty cool. So excited. <laughs> Honestly, that wasn't that bad. I had fun. Yeah. Minus my finger. Yeah. <laughs> my I own mean, fault. There needs to be a bit less in the punching front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I feel you on that one. I, I agree. So that's my meta. That's, <laughs> that's my favorite part. I'm going to banish Nick. all the punching out of the game and then maybe I'd be down. Oh, I like that. Jason Wait, mask and the cat hat. It's a tiger. Tiger! Tiger. It looks like tiger. a honeycomb. Yo, this who's this guy? He looks like uh, he's from a Pixar movie plus a Disney movie. Uh, no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hold on. I just got an epic hat. Hold, hold on. Congrats, Rob. Wait, no, no, no. But check it out. Hold on. Wait till I find it. I'm waiting. It's a turtle. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. Is it Come on. electric bread? I'm those things there from uh, oh. Toy Story. Oh, yeah. shit. You're Goku. I'm Goku, dude. I'm the little what? guys that, with the crane game in Toy Story, remember? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Wait, I have, I have a quick idea that maybe we could break the game. Okay. Okay. So meet me in the corner over here. Uh, as close, ah, oh, maybe we can't do it because of the lamp. Yeah, just bounce on my head and hold into the corner. Yeah, I am. And then we'll try to get Robert up there as well. We're gonna clip. And then like mash A as fast as you can. Yeah. Wait, hold on, I got an idea. Oh, okay, wait. Oh no, we've all readied up! No! Oh. no. Okay. The worst possible se uh, sequence of events oh. to start another game. <laughs> I don't think anyone can get up, up above me though. Yeah, it seems like they actually, they actually put a ceiling on this. Lame. Hey, look, I'm over here. 
Well, anyway, why don't we take some time to uh, pimp our channel? So we'll start with uh, Robert. Yeah, hi, I'm Rob, also known as El Pack Patrol. You can find me at El Pack Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, and that's it. I mean, also Facebook, I think, but I, I haven't checked that in <laughs> maybe Facebook. like three Facebook. years. Facebook. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Grandma. So, yeah, and then uh, movie night on Saturday, so come by for that. How about you? Cobalt streak. What's up, Cobalt? I burn my fingers on controllers, <laughs> and uh, I'm just that good. So swing by my channel, and I'll show you my wounds. <laughs> and then... <laughs> more than one. That's Doctor Falcon. <laughs> you know, there's there's like a certain sect of the population that would that that'd be a big turn on. Show me your wounds. <laughs> How about you, Nicholas? Hey, Rockley Smile here. If you want to stomp on by twitch.tv slash Rockley Smile, I'm going to start up Judgment Day in a little while where we will manage our colony against the forces of hell in a Judgment Apocalypse simulation game. So I give give it like five minutes. I'll be up for that. Is it a tournament, ter Terminator game? No, it's, it's like demons and survivors. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to play Slay the Spire. Ooh. Because I have to kill Ninth Ascension. God damn you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy being wheezy. But uh, see if we can get it done. Oh, I have Tiger also. Tiger. Well, oh! I. Oh! Well, Wait, hold what? on. What was that? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Check this out. The I heck was that? Discord. Look at it. Oh, my Is God. it another rat? Oh, no. It's not a rat. Okay. This it's a Ryan gift. Will it. It's a gif of two men biking, and um, a kangaroo just jumps in front of one of them and uh, <laughs> takes his ass out, dude. <laughs> All right, that is pretty amazing. <laughs> is that oh, Look, it just takes his ass out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <That's so Okay>. <laughs> This one's well, definitely real. How did he get real. so high in the air? I don't know. <laughs> he just took his ass out. Holy brutality! <laughs> That's what life is like in Australia. Oh my God. I'll play it. I'll play it on the stream for you all. Yeah. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna go hang up with you guys. Okay. Thanks for being here. Later. Thanks for having me on. Later. <coughs> Yo, Party Panic was actually relatively fun. That could be like a once every three months kind of game. Even if it is bad. <laughs> it sort of almost works. Thank you, uh, Robo Connery, Dungabunga69, Penta Helix, Exquisite Coffee, Tom CO, Pat Dirt Rider, WWW Memers Club, Gucciaro, Ragin, Cajun, Who Dat? Toasty43, Rainbow Cereal, Xylan343, Chazzy, Pixie, Killer Rain, Skyless95, Surfing Pineapple, Ratfaced Goblin, Yife, Skyfu, GG Fonz, Arethdar, Based Moose, Killzone 1902, Cloudy Cocoon, Latimeter, Charles, Zwebra, Sinful LP, Mirith, <laughs> Diggity Dylan, Bob So Cool, Poop Flowers, Spin Tech, I Am Typical, Angriel, Too Many Toastas, Marius Raptor, Riley James Brown, Zeker 348, Bit Shepherd, Song 13, Frisco 285, Low Piano, Battalion 8, Derex, Onduyar 829, Macros 86, Hey It's Hefe, Bonesaw 9, I Like to Vike, Zombiabi 8, Lela Luna, Lucid Lynxy, Witcha Ditcha 54, Mr. Finnegus Fox, and Urbsnami 12. Thank you guys for subscribing, cheering, watching, making an effort to watch that ad block. I'll be live with Kate, twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. At about 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to play some SOS together. You've been missing SOS? I've been missing SOS as well. Macros, did I miss your subscription? Macros, thank you. It is... I did miss Macros? I don't buy it. I never would. Maybe if I had the goober bucks to buy it. Um, and Fancy Pants, thank you as well. SOS... Please, somebody rescue me. Spin that record, baby. Do 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 do. That's two different songs. I'm not gonna host Buzzer. That's disrespectful. Disrespectful to my co-hosts who um, gave their time to be on the show. I'm gonna host Nicholas at uh, Twitch.tv slash Rockley Smile. But Cobalt is also gonna be live playing the Spire, <laughs> playing Slay the Spire at Twitch.tv slash Cobalt Streak. 
I'm live with Kate, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for SOS. There's a... I'm not gonna raid. I'll host Buzzer when nobody else is online. But, dude, I am not going to host friggin' Fremantle Media, okay? They could, they could pay me if they want an auto-host. That's a multinational game show network era conglomerate. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.